Welcome back to the We Don't Know Stuff podcast. Yo, yo. We're here at episode eight. Eight? That wow. Ocho. Ocho Cinco? No, not yet. We're pretty far away from that <laughs> one. But uh, that Ocho, that Steven Gerrard, that Kobe with the Afro episode. Oh, Kobe with the Afro. And he kind of looked like he kind of looked like Tupac a little bit. He kind of did. It was weird. Even though Tupac they didn't have a fro. No, he never had an which afro. Is, but which rem- makes it weird. But remember, Kobe also shaved his head bald. He did, and he did, and he did look he straight did. on like him early on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He had that little, There was always that, like yeah, he had that little peanut head. <laughs> 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 oh shit! I never thought I'd say that, that about Kobe. Bean head, yeah, yeah. Kobe Bean Bryant. Yeah, I think head. that's why they call him Bean Bryant because that little bean. Yeah, because if you see him from behind and you're at a good distance. Oh yeah, he's got like, that straight yeah. up bean, like a pinto bean, yeah. like that kind of, <laughs> like that kind of you, that kind of shade. Motherfucker looks like a pinto bean. God damn it, man! Speaking of beans, what's popping with beans, dude? Beans are always. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's up with LeBron beans? playing like a bean right now? Oh, man, what's happening with him? Man, he's not. What's in- happening with the Lakers just in general? Okay, what do you think the problem is? I- I- there's a lot of problems with the Lakers. No, but the main problem. There's a lot of problems. But let me start off with this. So far this season, they've played 64 games, right? Okay. They're 30 and 34. Okay. Five and a half games out from the eighth seed. Okay. Right? Um, at this point last year, after the end of game 64 last year, yeah. their record was 29 and 35. This year it's thirty and thirty four. They're only one game better than they were at this point last season, mm-hmm. but they look ten times shittier. Um, well, which is crazy. No, because before the kids were playing with a chip, yeah, on their shoulder. Now you they're know what just I mean? like now they're deferring to a superstar, yeah. and they just almost got traded for another superstar. Right. So they know they're dispensable. Right. It's a wrap. You so you just their the, brains. You yeah. just hit what the main problem is you did what uh, what happened to these kids right now is what happened to elo <laughs> yeah <laughs> exact yeah, same, same thing same shit yep, exact Except same thing they're a little bit younger so i think they've been able to handle it a little bit better than lamar did because yeah. lamar was obviously lamar had other stuff going on off the court of course right but. he had his own personal demons to deal with off the court and what happened in the nba with his career in terms of them trying to trade him, them trying to move him, not moving him, not trading him, him getting stuck at the last second. Yeah. You know, everything's shook up. But he already he had serious drug issues off the court. Oh, no, no, no. Of at course. that time. He had that his whole career, right, pretty much. At that time, yeah. he was on those drugs. So, obviously, that really fucked his head up. Even more than it would have anybody. Like, Pow, the same thing happened to Pow, but he, he didn't let his game slip. But then again, no, he got Paul, better after he Powell left. Powell is a future Hall of Famer anyway. Yeah, so, but he got better after he left too. Which I don't think you agree with, huh? You don't uh, agree with that statement, huh? Shit. I think we had this not discussion. A, not hundred yeah. percent. No. I think we had this no, discussion. No, I think before. he's out of he's uh yeah, he's out of it for me on Hall of Fame, but just slightly. But uh, yeah, that's a discussion. But you gotta for understand day. too that the basketball hall of fame is basketball, it's not NBA Hall of Fame. Yeah, that's, so you got you got to yeah, but then you, you gotta can have, just include all kinds. But of you got to include his international career with Barca. You have to include um, the Spanish national team, the silver silver medals, gold medals. Oh uh, well, you I have mean, to include guess, all that. Yeah. I mean, Melo's gonna make the Hall of Fame, but Melo's gonna make the Hall of Fame based on <sighs> the dream, the redeemed team, gold medals. And that's like that's like the shit we were talking about off air right now. Where it was uh, where I was just saying Eli Manning is going to end up being a Hall of Famer. Like we just know it, and that's well, why this. That's yeah, why the Giants won, what, are struggling. Two Super Bowls, right? Yeah, he won that's two Super Bowls for them, and it was there was I guess there were some pretty epic Super Bowls, like some comeback right. kind of shit. I mean, most Super Bowls beat have been the that Patriots. Way, kind of like right. Beat the Patriots that were unstoppable at that time. Right. I mean, that have the always undefeated, been unstoppable. The undefeated Patriots. They, they, beat, the they undefeated, beat the undefeated. They stopped Patriots. that shit. That's so. True. Bro, oh, like man. he's going to the Hall of Fame. No, regardless. he's going in the Hall of Fame, yeah. but it's like that's why New York's also struggling to get rid of him because they're playing that whole Kobe, well, like yeah, we're yeah. going to honor you. You know what I mean? We're still going to pay you a nice, fat, a hefty contract on your way out. Like why? You would, he should like, just do fuck, the, uh, the D-Wade he's getting farewell that legend tour. status. <laughs> nah, but he'll never do it. He should just do that D-Wade farewell tour and just trade his jersey everywhere he goes. Well, that's what his brother did, kind of. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. His brother but did I it, mean, right? 
Peyton. Everybody loves Peyton. Yeah, shout out to Peyton. Everybody loves Big Peyton. Big Peyton out there. Yeah, everybody loves Peyton. Like there, a meanest so. forehead I've ever seen. But, yeah. So, uh, yeah, the Hall of Fame discussion, it can get, yeah, it can get totally out of hand. And if you're watching these Laker games, though, like, I know you really haven't been lately because no. uh, your work schedule has been kind of crazy, but... Yeah, yeah, I've been pretty busy with some things, but I've been hearing. The, but I've been, I've been hearing the talk. If you watch the game, <laughs> it sounds bad. <laughs> like I want to put together just a supercut <laughs> of the last ten games, of just everything LeBron has done or hasn't done for that matter. Okay. Right? Yeah. How many times he's played Olay on defense? How many times he just stood there and complained to a teammate when it was his fault? To the time when the other day when Kuzma actually had to push LeBron. To go play defense, like literally put his hands on him and shove him I toward, heard about that. toward the, I heard toward the that three last night's line. game. Was that last, last night? night or two nights ago? Two oh, nights man. ago, I think. Yeah. But he literally had to physically push LeBron <laughs> to go play defense. This Kyle Kuzma, it's not some superstar Hall of Famer, 10 year career guy. This is a guy who's been playing the league for two, three years. And, yeah, but it's and he just... wants it more than anybody else. That's why it's like looking at it now, like, <laughs> I got even I video. was like, Coming in to this season, I really wasn't much of a Brandon Ingram fan. I was always happy and comfortable with the idea of them trading him for something else. But you know what? Brandon Ingram has shown way more desire to win games this season than LeBron has. What is? And what, I didn't expect that. Do you think that it's like um, that now that he's doing all these Hollywood side projects too? Yeah, he's he's not focused. He might just be coming back to basketball and just be already mentally like tapped out. Yeah, he's like he's like. Done. Do you think? And and mentally. I mean, and I even mean long term, not even just like mm. now. I don't know about long term, but like, what if he's already just thinking like, "Fuck it, I'll write out these what three, four years, four three, years? three years left." I think. Yeah, he's like, "I'll write oh, no, out four, four. He's like, "I'll write out these four years, oh, yeah. and then I just fucking fuck it. Right. I'm gonna become one of the Hollywood elite. I'm good. I made it. Yep. I'm set." He's probably going to be, at some point, he's probably going to be a billionaire. Well, yeah. Yeah. He's the only sure. one that's on that path. Yeah. Right. So he might already just be thinking that in his head. Like, what? Well, that was like, always his plan. I could already plan. be a billionaire, that was and I don't plan. even need to be, like, killing myself for it. When he was, like, 2021, 20, he told the media, like, his plan was to be the first ever active player billionaire. Yeah. That was his plan. So, I mean, everything that he's done so far has kind of work toward that plan but and, well it and, doesn't like, I have, translate to success on the court not in a big market but to I me guess. like dude like to be honest like <laughs> i don't care what you do off the court right i don't care if you're in movies i don't care if you got mad tv shows i don't care if you're making rap albums with two chains i don't care about none of that that's cool that's mm. that's your personal thing but right. when you put on that fucking purple and gold there yeah. there's a history that comes with putting on that jersey there's more than you yeah. Right. Every every superstar that's ever played for the Lakers has done more in their careers than LeBron has. And I know that's a tough stretch because what? Jerry West. Da, da, da. Jerry West, the fucking logo. Jerry West put together yeah, the Shaq Kobe but, team. But Jerry West put together the Warriors that we see right now. Jerry West put together yeah, the Clippers that yeah. are whooping the Lakers ass. But you're also the same Clippers that are gonna make the playoffs with no LeBron, stars, no though. all stars. They're gonna make the playoffs. Yeah, but you're also talking about LeBron. Like, okay, uh, uh, I guess for maybe a little bit of perspective, like how long have do you think you've realistically been a Laker fan? You know what I mean? Not since you've been born, because you haven't been watching Lakers since you were born. But let's just try to figure it out. Ballpark number. Who gives a shit? Since I want to say '92, when I went to my first Laker game at. The Great Western Forum. And I watched Charles Barkley and, and the Phoenix Suns come to town. Okay. And I remember that specifically because I remember I was kind of young, right? 92, I'd have been, what, five or six? So I was really young, but I remember going and I remember getting the program and looking through the program. And I remember I couldn't say Barkley. I kept saying broccoli. <laughs> so I remember, that's what I remember from that. So that's how far back I remember. So what is that like? 27 years, 26 years, some shit like Something that. like that, yeah. Okay. LeBron's only been a Laker for one year. He right. doesn't give a fuck about all that noise you right. just said. It doesn't matter. He's LeBron. Mm -hmm. He's not a Laker. He's right. LeBron but, on the Lakers. Right, but that's that's why he's always going to have that issue. Like, if, if he's not going to – like, the thing is, as Laker fans, 
Look, we knew Kobe didn't want to be on this team. We knew Kobe's teammates were trash. We knew they didn't have a coach for to, to make this shit work when Phil was gone. Yeah. We knew all of that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what we also knew, every single night, no matter what, no matter who they're playing, mm-hmm. no matter how much the odds were stacked against you, yeah, yeah. Kobe brought it every fucking night. Well, he night. wanted to win every it, game. It didn't matter. He it, wanted none to win of that, every game. Nothing else mattered. But... But that's where you're trying to find Kobe and LeBron, and it, it's never going to happen. Well, I, I think— It's the, never going to happen. No, it's never going to happen, but the thing is— you got to just let Kobe go. When LeBron first signed here, everybody had this—not everybody, but a good chunk of— I don't want to say Laker fans. I'm just going to say Kobe fans. We're worried that LeBron coming to L.A. could ruin <laughs> any bit of Kobe's legacy. Right. But just like everybody else has been saying, this is strengthening it because— the other night, the Clippers game, the whole fucking stadium started chanting, we want Kobe. Yeah, but they're going to do shit like no, that. No, but just think about they're it. They're going to do shit like just, that. They always, they always of do course, that. Of course, of course, of course. But, but um, just think about it. Like, We're talking about a guy in his <laughs> last game of his 20-year 20, 20 NBA career with one team. right? His last game dropped 60 points. So even in his last game, he gave us everything he had. He could have just cupcaked that rest of that game. Yeah, but he knew what it meant to be a Laker. And, and That's you, the difference. It's showtime. That's, That's the why difference. it's called showtime. But, yeah, but LeBron, it doesn't matter. And LeBron's never going to hurt. Let me just tell the whole fucking world out there, everybody out in the audience. LeBron's never going to hurt Kobe's legacy here unless he wins six titles with the lakers no that's not and guess what that's not fucking happening everybody kobe's legacy is fine okay lebron may end up winning if he somehow turns it on or he always attracts stars once he gets stars over here and he starts winning championships he might end up winning more championships overall than kobe but he's never gonna win six as a laker he's just not gonna do it my thing about lebron and you're right matter you're right though he's not um even if they get AD and Kawhi and yeah, like and you're not. The, no. Even if they build the the super the team, they're not super team. Right, yeah, yeah, they're not gonna get six. But my thing is, LeBron. It, it's crazy. LeBron is so fucking good. Like he's such a yeah. tremendously great skilled player. Like above everybody else to a crazy degree. Like. And I didn't really realize how how much better he was than, let's say, Durant, who would probably be the next best, right? Mm. Um, no, I, I d- feel like he's been much better than Durant. Though. I mean, I've always yeah, known yeah. he's better than him, and I always yeah. felt he's better than him. But it hasn't been highlighted more than it has been now because he, LeBron's not passing the eye test, right? He's, he, he's playing very lazy on defense. He's not hustling. He's complaining a lot. He's whining. I mean, it's yeah, just yeah. visually his his body language is not what he's you diva, want to see. He's diva out the game right, right now. Right, he's, exactly. He's That's the perfect mode. way. That's the perfect yeah. way to describe it. However, every single night <laughs> he's still flirting with a triple double. That's how fucking good he is. No, well, yeah, he's, he's an animal. He's playing at he's like sixty percent sure. of what he's giving. Sixty percent. He's not giving a hundred percent. He's not giving one hundred ten percent. He's giving about sixty to seventy percent. Of what he could do, and he's still flirting with a triple double. Man, I think it's yeah. like, man, just give us eighty and let us win the game. But Fuck the triple double, let's win the game. And he's always just been a beast like that. But he doesn't. But like you said, he's not. He doesn't have that Kobe mentality. If he yeah. did, he'd probably be trying to torch every night. He'd probably be going for sixty. You know what I mean? Those would be his goals, right? Yeah, LeBron's not. He's not like that. Yeah, he, he just doesn't have that like. I'm gonna come at you like in every way, not just scoring. Do you but think do you think it might be an effect of him knowing that he's that good too? Like 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 this. So eh, okay, as long as we stay within ten points, you know what I mean? Double digits, whatever. If I have to, I could turn it on at the end and we could win this game still. And just kind of just being like kind of I mean, eh, that seems like lazy. what he's been trying to do. Right. But by the time he tries to turn it on, like Lakers be down 12. Well, yeah, yeah. So. Sometimes that that's not always the best plan. Right. Actually, that's not even a great plan. No, it's not. Whereas like and so it's like that's why you're never going to find that same element that Kobe had cuz Kobe's like, "No, I'm I just want to just start blowing them out by 30 from the top." Just yeah. from the get. Yeah, like, like I I, like I don't Kobe want them to score one fucking like, point. Like that's good. I want to break their spirit. Yeah. Fuck winning the game. 
We're going to well, win the a game. True competitor, for right. sure. We're going to win the game, yeah. but I want to break them down. I want to break them down mentally, I got physically, a, and then we'll just torch them. Like, I got an example, because it's like, I guess it might be a disservice to say that LeBron's not a true comp- competitor by me saying <clears> that. <throat> but what I mean by that, like, I guess the way that I can describe it is, like, I feel like I'm a true competitor, right, to a certain degree in what in the things that I'm good at or that I do, right? Right. Or that I try to do. I try to do them really good, so I feel, like, very competitive about it. But let's say I'm doing those same things with somebody that I know I'm far above, mm-hmm. for instance, my seven-year-old son. Right, right. Like, when I'm doing stuff with him, yeah, I turn it off a little bit. You know what I mean? But I'm still competitive. I still want to show him you know, the proper or the best way to, to do something. But I'm going to, you know, I'm going to ease off the gas pedal. You know what I mean? I'm not going to go to the extreme. If well, I have yeah. to, if I see that he's grasping it, though, yeah, I'm going to push it. So I guess maybe it's relatable in that sense. Mm-hmm. Or it's like you could be a true competitor, I get you. but you could also know when you're far above yeah. your nearest competition mm-hmm. and that kind of just takes you out of that competitive spirit too sometimes right. like damn like you know what i mean like i got like when triple g for all you boxing fans out there was just boxing a bunch of dummies because nobody mm-hmm. wanted to fight him it's just like oh, man, like loma loma's been boxing like, a yeah. gang of dummies lomachenko's gonna be doing to... that for a while right. and it sometimes like that's a career ender too mm-hmm. that's a way they take those guys out you like if stuck. they just don't want them to shine or they're not with the right promotion they, yeah, they Dang. just get you stuck. Yep. And they're like, no, we're not going to let them climb. Or we're not going to let anybody major fight them or whatever. And then these guys just get old fighting a bunch of dummies. And sometimes they just become lackadaisical at the end of it, too. Like Triple G looked like he was going that route. He looked like he was kind of just bored. like, yeah, he's he was just bored. getting bored beating he up started, on these guys. Yeah, he started, he started taking just, shots. Yeah, he yeah, started, he started taking shots. Him, just because like, he was what? bored. He's like, yeah, man, fuck this. <laughs> yeah. So... Maybe that happens too sometimes with these super athletes. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, I get it. They just get complacent. That's, that's all my, it is. Yeah, that's you my mean, best it guess because it, it's it just happens. like you're too beastly to not. But I don't think that's LeBron's issue. I think LeBron's just not focused, not necessarily become complacent because he's so good. I mean, good. he is doing a lot of Hollywood shit. That's what a I'm saying. A lot. Like, he got I'm like surprised. three fucking shows. Like when they said he was gonna do that shit, also when he came. Like, and it was maybe even, like, built into his contract or whatever. I figured, oh, all right, in the summertime, we're going to get a lot of LeBron content. Yeah? yeah like, yeah. a lot of shows and shit. And then uh, I come to here, this is already, like, the second or third show that he right. fucking and, dropped and, during the season. And a movie's coming. Mid-season? A movie's coming this summer, I think. What, Space, Space Jam, Jam 2 shit? Yeah, it's coming oh this summer, I think. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's not a good, it's, it's I, I'm happy for him as a person. Right, go get your money, player. Do you do? Be creative. I'm happy with all that, but it's like as a Laker fan, what I'm if, not happy with the product on the court. What if he's What if he's tanking to and get a look, draft pick though? But the thing is, like, check this what out. If like, he's also tanking. We like the Lakers, right? I mean, we go to Laker games. We have gone to Laker games in the past. Yeah, of course. But I'm not gonna pay 175 dollars to watch them lose to the Warriors. I mean, to the, to the Wizards. Well, they're, of course they're going to lose to the Warriors. But yeah. I'm not going to pay 175 bucks for some shitty-ass seats to watch them lose to the Wizards. So either they need to step up their game or they need to lower them fucking ticket prices. And obviously, they ain't going to lower them ticket prices. So they need to step that fucking game up. And the problem is people are going to fill those fucking seats anyway because this is <laughs> L.A. And that's the fucking issue. No, well, here's the other thing, too, is that... It, other people could be looking at it from a different perspective, too, and just be saying, you know what, 175 when AD comes over here or Durant or whatever, that $175 seat is going to be 300 bucks. Yeah. It's going to yeah. be 250 three. Right. Like, have you seen how high the ticket prices get when the Warriors come yeah, into yeah. town? Yeah, it's a, it's a wrap. And I can't even imagine the Oracle because the right. Oracle's smaller than state. Mm-hmm. Staples and it's Center. brand fuck new. Yeah. No, no, not the Oregon. Oh, they haven't moved yet. Yeah, yeah they, they haven't, haven't moved. moved the, right. the brand new one's probably going to be the size of Staples or maybe even bigger. Something Who knows? Like that, yeah. and, but, but it's going to be like super teched out because it's in Silicon oh, Valley. Oh, so of it's course. Gonna be like of course. Stupid. It's probably going to be the sweetest <laughs> basketball stadium stupid. out there. Like yeah. the fucking Mercedes-Benz Stadium of oh, fucking right, basketball. Right, yeah. yeah. That it's shit's going to have a retractable roof <laughs> so these motherfuckers can just play <laughs> open air at night and shit. <laughs> Uh, that'd be that'd sick. Be that'd be sick. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking NBA. NBA. You guys need to make that happen, please. But, yeah, so 
Get Jerry uh, Jones until involved. they until they approve the on court product. Like I have a real big issue paying that much for tickets. No, well, yeah. I That's mean, just a personal thing. Yeah, but some people just want to go to Staples. You oh, got to remember no, where no, no, it's no, the no, Hollywood LA, effect. Yeah, yeah. There's gonna, that's why I people said, just want to go there even just to fucking take selfies and course, just be like, yo, I'm inside a Staples. Like, you know, the the real true. Welcome to the Wild West. <laughs> basketball fans are, I'm sure, <laughs> upset just like I am, you know, but yeah. it is what it is. We're in L.A. and that's obviously how it goes. Yeah, Like it would literally be cheaper. It feels like it would be cheaper to dip to Phoenix, buy a, a Suns Lakers tickets and watch them in Phoenix and come back than it would be to actually just go fifteen you know, minutes to Staples Center. You know what? It'd probably if you took a plane, it'd probably be around the same price. Well, if it took but, a plane, but, but I was thinking about driving. But, but yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But what I was gonna say, like if you take a plane and it comes out even close to the same price or to the same price, hey, at least you go on a little mission. Mm -hmm. Like a little adventure. Right. Mission. It's like yeah. I almost rather do that. Yeah. Like, Why not? Like, right. Why not? And you're just hopping on a plane, so you just take a backpack, dude. Right. <laughs> Good. Backpack and an iPad or some shit. All right, let's switch gears here because Lakers are just going to keep pissing me off if I keep talking about them. I was telling you the other day that uh, I wanna, I'm want i going to donate my Keurig to the, to the studio. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So at least we can have some coffee. That but you didn't bring it today, though. No, I didn't bring it today <laughs> because I didn't. I didn't make it home today. I was on. Yeah, I was on the run. Oh shit! If you would have went home, you was you wasn't gonna make it here. The, true, and I and you know what? The honest to god truth is, if I would have made it home, I probably still wouldn't have brought the cure. <laughs> 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 so let's just cut the shit. Yeah, you know I mean? I <laughs> oh, fuck uh, it. I feel it. Fuck it, man. Sometimes you got to get rid of the space debris. You know Man. what I'm talking about? I was watching a video. Space with, debris. Yeah, I was watching a video with my son about space debris the other day as as I was putting him down to sleep. That's that floating astronaut poop. Oh, it's everything, <laughs> dude. It's fucking crazy ass just space like debris that's just frozen flying fast as fuck. Through. Just flying by. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's a ton of fucking <laughs> space shit up there. I mean, where does that shit go that's fucking that comes out of the space station? They just need to put that shit all on a rocket and just shoot it to the sun. Just Burn uh, off all that poop. Do you think they'd have the <laughs> escape velocity to leave orbit from that angle? Maybe. Yeah, fuck. I don't know. Elon Musk could figure it out. But, yeah. like, Elon, you need to get rid of the space shit, dude, because it's going to end up, like, if, if it starts coming down, or what if it just clops into, like, one giant one? Hmm. Asteroid status. Damn, imagine. And then, like, a poop <laughs> asteroid just yeah. crashes into yeah. Earth. I mean, that sounds like some stupid <laughs> shit that would end up happening, I feel. Oh, it, it really shit. does. As fucking retarded as that sounds, <laughs> like, that really sounds like some shit that could oh, happen. Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay. I fuck with that. So, That'd be tight. So it wouldn't be tight, but it'd be funny. So I got, yeah, so it got me tripping out on That'd space be funny, debris so. because the video was all, like, eventually, you know, it's trying to over-dramatize it itself, and it's like... Eventually, we're just gonna trap ourselves on this planet because it's so much debris and all. And it's makes like sense. it makes sense. No, no, no. They explained it. I mean, it was super. It wasn't even that corny. It was just. It was a cartoon, so it was kind of funny. Oh, shit. But they had some supposed theoretical ideas, and one of them was to go up there with a fucking little spaceship. You know, some little Elon Musk shit that yeah. can connect. But that has a harpoon. <laughs> that, gonna be that a harpoon shit up. It'll be like fucking Caltrans in space. Dude. Uh, <laughs> just thinking, and they're just gonna be sending like trash. dudes that gotta do community service up to space to pick up space poop. Yeah, like that fucking wow. like that movie Elysium. Oh <laughs> shit! That you should have added that to our <laughs> fucking top five sci-fi. That's a good fucking movie. Okay, so another one was to send another fucking flying little bot, like a mm -hmm. fucking Wally -E and shit, mm -hmm. that shoots lasers <laughs> at the fucking and trash. What are they trying to, what like, to create more debris or what? Are they like, trying to just use the lasers to push it away from space? The big from Earth, no, no, no. It, there's actually, well, they thought about it. There's different levels. They'll for the big debris mm -hmm. that it obviously can't disintegrate. Like yeah, they're gonna try to just push it down and let gravity fucking bring it back to Earth. But for the little shit, supposedly it could just dissolve it. But it's like, what if you don't dissolve it and you just deflect that shit fast as fuck some other direction? And what if the laser, like, let's say you're trying to push the shit back to Earth to burn up in the atmosphere. Yeah. What if you, like, miss and just blast New York City real quick? Blow the White House up and shit. <laughs> like, oh, fuck, what the fuck was that? 
We're sorry we had a fucking space debris <laughs> malfunction. Fucking Wally is fucking out of service. There's some so, funny science news right here. I like this. So, so the last one, the only one that kind of made sense to me was a uh, same little fucking, you know, the right. Wally bot up mm-hmm. there. But he shoots a net and just catches oh, the yeah. shit. You know what I mean? That probably I mean, makes the most sense. I mean, that yeah. shit still sounds silly to me, too. Uh, but well, yeah. but it's the one that makes the most sense out of those three. A fucking harpoon, yeah. a laser, or a net. Like, what the fuck? Come on, man. Yeah. Like, what are you going to do? Which one are you going to take? I'll what take the is fucking most net of the down. debris made up of? Did they say? Yeah, like shit's like old ass satellites that just fucking died out mm. that are just floating up there. A lot of shit is also like little, little shit. Like, they have it categorized in sizes. Okay. I think for like shit that's the size of like a penny or smaller Mm -hmm. there's billions of shit up there floating like that Uh, for shit the size of a car they're like there's maybe like a hundred up there that we know about Damn, about the size of a car yeah no there's big shit out there that's just that's why they're saying eventually it's gonna layer up and just block us in i would figure that shit would fall to earth no eventually no right it It just takes too long it just takes too long and then because i think it's in that lowest part of the orbit it's Mm -hmm. not really it's not even nowhere near space, really. Right. It's just fucking going so fast. Dude. <laughs> like, it's jamming. It makes me wonder, like, how do they figure out how to shoot the fucking rockets and all that shit up there? But the space station isn't even that high. You know what I mean? Right. The space station is the space station really isn't nowhere near real space, to be honest. Well, it's still in lower orbit, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's like it's realistically in just like the highest part of our atmosphere. Right. You know it's what I mean? 254 miles Whew. above the Earth's surface. What? The fucking space station? Yeah. 254 Holy miles. Shit. So it's like from here to Vegas, give or take. Yeah. Vegas is probably closer to 300. No, it's from like here to fucking Frisco. Mm-hmm. Actually, Frisco's a little Frisco's further. Frisco's way further. But not it's more like Vegas. Like Fresno. I'm telling you, it's like Vegas. Like Vegas? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that yeah, so fuck. <laughs> Shooting the vague damn. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah. It's real wild. Yeah, that's fucking insane. Super Where did that wild. remember? So uh Los Angeles to Vegas is two hundred and seventy miles. So oh, okay. Yeah. So Vegas is twenty miles further than the space station is I from mean, Earth. Yeah. But you're also not gonna jam in a fucking well, eighty mile per hour vehicle that's up true. to fucking <laughs> You're going to be smashing on those rockets. Right. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's, see, that's fucking crazy. So all of that shit is up there, but it's like it's a lot of it is still colliding with each other, too, and just getting even more dangerous and crazy. Like, fuck. Yeah, it's um, I guess I would assume it start. It's going to become a real fucking problem eventually. Yeah, it's like gonna I mean, be it probably like already a, is a problem. It probably already is a problem. Yeah. But it's uh, it's gonna be like our own little asteroid belt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just wrapped around the planet. We're just gonna have rings like Saturn. That'd be awesome if we just had trash rings. <laughs> <laughs> that would yeah. really actually. That's trash rings shit. around Earth would really <laughs> do a great job of telling aliens exactly who we are. Uh, trash is just fuck. trash is fuck. <laughs> Look at this trashy ass planet. Like, remember that show, Third Rock from the Sun? <laughs> that was yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, that was a yeah. funny little fucking show. It was. Oh, man. I, I imagine that's how it would be. Man. So I wonder if it, that space debris. I wonder really what is the best way to clean that up. I would think that net, huh? Yeah, that you seems just have like to do the best. I mean, but then probably. It would probably vary depending on what you're picking up, right? Because if it's something really big, you're not going to use the net to get it. You'll probably just use like that harpoon type of thing or like mm. an arm. You know what I mean? To just reach out I would out imagine and grab like it. an arm, yeah. Right? I mean, something to just reach out like a hand and just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, like I would have wanted. Robotic wanna, hand I, or something. Yeah, I think the worst idea of them all was the harpoon, actually. <laughs> the harpoon. Because what if the harpoon doesn't go through the shit? And it just fucking flicks that bitch oh, in another direction. Shit, I know, huh? You know what I mean? Like a lot of that fucking metal and shit that they send up there is pretty fucking strong, I have to imagine. And it's uh and I wonder what the effects of it being in space for so long have had on it too. Man, check this out. At oh, at the fuck. end of 2017, it was determined that nineteen thousand eight hundred and ninety-four 
observable bits of space junk were circling our planet. <laughs> what the fuck? A combined mass of at least 8,135 tons. That's more mass than the entire metal structure of the Eiffel Tower. Holy shit. And that's just the visible. That's just what we could see, the observable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Obviously, there's so much more there, right? They're, they're estimating that there's... Uh, where is it? I just saw it. There's something like 500,000 fucking chunks. Fuck, man. Like half a million just chunks of fucking space debris float up there. And I think that was from like 2013, so it's got to be even more now, right? So how because that debris is going to create more debris by no, it's going to keep each other, yeah, right? it's going to keep causing a bunch of little crazy explosions. But how the fuck did Elon get his fucking roadster through that? <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Yeah, I know, huh? Like yeah, like he just I, he's like fuck it, I'm just going to go fast as fuck and hopefully nothing happens. I wonder if like okay, I you doubt know he would have took that risk. Well, you know when they do like those experiments in in zero G, where they have like they take like a bag of like rice or something and they put it all together and then it like as it's floating in in zero G, it forms into yeah, a clump. Like, like it kind of comes together. Like it's its own gravity of yeah, individual like it's, things it's, start pulling each other well, together. It's creating its uh, gravity field by right. doing that. Yeah, right. yeah, by rotating it. So like uh, like a shit they used to do that uh in Dragon Ball Z when they were training in that fucking zero. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm saying. So like maybe this stuff is kind of clumping into certain areas in orbit. Mm -hmm. So that's what makes it easier to get launches out because they know okay here's the clump. Oh, there goes maybe. the clump. Mm -hmm. Here's the open space launch type maybe. of type of deal. Maybe something similar to that. Yeah, but why maybe doesn't that happen to the rings of Saturn? But I'm saying, now? or maybe it's not as bad as we really think it is. Well, the, when there's you, a lot of space. Well, honestly, when you said the Eiffel Tower, I thought fuck big right away. But then I thought, ah, oh, the Eiffel spread Tower's out. not that fucking big. And then spread out over. Uh, yeah, the Eiffel the circumference of the Earth. Think like, about oh. how the Eiffel Tower looks from the space station. They probably can't even fucking see it, right? Mm -hmm. No, you can't see it. <laughs> no, probably not. So you can't see it. So they can't even see the space debris, right? right? Like so even with their net, you yeah. know what I mean? It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, space debris is is kind of an interesting topic. I'm gonna look more into that too as as we go. Yeah, check that out, man. Further. That fucking space debris is some shady shit, but it's been going down for a while. I mean, it's it's. Some it's interesting some, things. It's some straight up human shit, though. I did find a list <laughs> just of pollute uh, the fuck out of everything. Let's see where is oh, it. Oh man. Yeah, I mean, the 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 renditions of like the images that they're trying to show of what how that space debris looks like it looks wild, and it's like, man, I don't think it really looks like that, dude. Like, like I think what they're kind just, of shit does it look like? I, I mean, it just looks like the Earth is surrounded by junk, like trash. Like, it looks like a junkyard. I mean, I guess we are, but... I mean, I, it's probably legit. I don't know if it could look like that. That shit looks too crazy <laughs> to me. Yeah, that shit looks too crazy. But, um, yeah, so I guess it's true. There have been a lot of... um, A lot of launches, too, right? Like, a lot of satellite launches. And then... So you got to think about... They've been launching satellites since what the fifties, sixties, right? So like even yeah, shit like, no, nah, Sputnik already came down, but shit like that was just circling the Earth for a cool minute, like no, and, and it just jumped. You got like there's also satellites up there. Like I think people might believe and might think that when um they hear satellite, they think like the shit the size of a fucking garage or like a car. Like there's a bunch of satellites up there too that are like the size of your cell phone or smaller. Yeah, you know I mean, they're just floating That's up true. there. They have those like little, they got those cubes. Yeah, cube they got little mini ass called. satellites, yeah. and those are like short term satellites. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, they're just basically sent up there to be trash. Yeah, much. I mean, yeah, they just go up there and do whatever little basic little <laughs> yeah, science like, experiment they're trying to do. And they're just doing myth busters in space <laughs> and shit. <laughs> um, so about like 35, 36 years ago, um, Astronauts were up there and doing some work, and one of the most famous pieces of space debris was a little screwdriver that fell out of the astronaut's oh, hand. Oh, hell no. So there's a little screwdriver that's just been fucking circling Earth for the last 35 years at 2001, uh, 
21,600 miles oh, per hour. Oh, fuck 21, Imagine just getting struck by that shit. Oh. But along God with the screwdriver, damn. there's gloves, camera lens caps, an astronaut blanket, garbage bags, paint flex, solid fuel, uh, wrenches, nuts, oh, bolts. Oh, there's for sure shit up there a now. A tool bag. Now I really believe bag. that there's what shit the up fuck? there. A oh, pair of pliers no. and a toothbrush. Yeah. A toothbrush? Yeah. Weird. Probably with a fucking it's fat turd flying right next to it, dude. There's definitely shit up in space. Yeah. Obsolete spacecrafts, chunks of satellites and rockets, momentum flywheels, nuclear reactor cores, oh, fragments see, that's of... that's not fucking cool. No, that's not. Fragments of rockets that have broken up or collided with other objects. What about all that shrapnel from the nukes they blew up up there, too? Well, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's like, all up there. That's probably where that <laughs> nuclear reactor cores, like that up. kind of shit comes from. Oh, yeah, no. I think we're already trapped here. <laughs> I think, I think uh, we're already trapped here. Wh what if space doesn't even exist, though? <laughs> it's just part of the program, dude. You sent me a video of some virtual reality shit that's happening, that dude. wild, huh? Yeah, that, like... What was it called? The HoloLens 2, right? Yeah, dude. Microsoft that, shit? That shit freaks me the fuck out. Legit, because dude, I'm Dude, that a, thing is... Oh, because I'm a semi believer because I want to be. I have no fucking evidence to prove myself right or otherwise, but I semi believe because I choose to in simulation theory. Motherfuckers. Yes. Mm. Well, for those who don't know what simulation theory is, just give them a brief. OK, look, rundown. the gist of it is that basically we are a simulation. You know what I mean? And that. Or we're living inside of a simulation and all that we might truly be is just consciousness that exists that was either created in the simulation or was introduced to the simulation. But we're basically just running through a program and we're going through series of tests or whatever or, you know what I mean? Like when you're playing a video game, like you have to, you're trying to, you're trying to solve these things. Maybe that's one way to go about it, but it's pretty much like everything, like the Matrix. Has it, you know, if you guys have right. seen the movie, the Matrix is pretty much like the Matrix. And I, there's a bunch of simulation theory movies out there. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I like the theory because it kind of delves into the whole, you know what I mean, questioning humanity, type shit, to me. You know what I mean? But like where you're like, what the fuck are we truly even human? You know what I mean? Because you know you're something beyond human, right? Like you have a consciousness. You still right. exist when you go to sleep, right? Mm -hmm. So you're something beyond this current world right here that has these mics set up in here, this fucking table, all of that. You know what I mean? But my thing is, if this really was a simulation, would we, would we be able to know it? Because in order for it to be a simulation, that means things were programmed. Yeah. Right. By something else. Right. Just like mm -hmm. if we were to program, if we're playing the Sims. Yeah, right. Yeah. We're we're making the functions happen. We're calling the shots. But is there ever a point in the Sims where the Sims realize that they're in a simulation? You wouldn't know that. Because, but we're discussing it. Because and we're, if it maybe it happens when the game shut off and they're free to roam inside that world. Maybe. I mean, that's a possibility. That's but why I'm saying like you wouldn't know. If the game shuts off, then the simulation stops. Yeah, but what if it's still, if, if they just. It's not Toy Story. If they this just. Isn't Toy no, Story. but they could just exist inside of the chip that just might have energy running yeah. through it. I mean, the chip yeah, still I mean, exists no matter what. The chip, whether you're running actual power from this physical world to it or not, it still contains all that information. And isn't all this world is, is information anyway, right? Because we can consider ourselves like just refractions or reflections of light pretty much, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So all that we're getting that's sending what we see with our eyes is just the information that gets sent from our eyes to our brain. You know what I mean? So it's right. the same thing. That program still needs to know how to exist when, it, when the thing boots up, right? Well, it's programmed. Right. So when so the it thing follows boots a, up, it's just... Whoop. But it follows a, a set list of steps that it has to do in order to just boot up. Right, right. In order to just show you a I the mean, Sims logo. There's so many steps that need to happen. So much coding that goes into just showing us the Sims logo. So besides that, like I can't say that the Sims would know 
would know when the game's off because it doesn't make sense. No, they wouldn't know. They would just exist I'm, differently. I, I, I they wouldn't just saying. be the like, information... oh, it's off. Let's turn on because nobody's watching us. They'd be more like, it's just like, whoa, like you waking up from a dream. But I get that the information still exists regardless if there's power going through the system or not. I understand that. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the point you're trying to make, that the, yeah. that the, the, the information is still there regardless if it's getting, and in, in, in the case of, the Sims. Well, usable, usable energy. Because right. to you, you need that energy to use it. Mm -hmm. But for the chip to exist, it doesn't. So like a plant's alive, right? But right. it doesn't move nearly as much as me or you. It doesn't talk, at least in ways that we can hear it or understand it. But it's I still would, alive. I, I would argue against that. But it's still I mean, alive. What, it would just determine on what you're talking about. Movements. If you're talking about macro uh, that, movements no, versus a, a, a micro movement. I'm, I'm talking about moving at our same speed. You know what I mean? Existing at our same speed. I mean, but what's rate our speed? speed? Our rate of speed is, I guess. Just our rate of speed is is the rate at which our atoms vibrate. Correct. I, it's not well, about how fast we walk or how fast we sit, right? Because if I'm sitting, no, but I'm it's still also moving. there's also a lot to do with size too, like with your mass, the amount of mass too. So okay, but still, regardless, movement goes all the way down to the atom. Correct. Yeah. I guess so. so. I guess it could. I'm, a I mean, I'm nobody. <laughs> a plant's movement will go back down to the atom. A plant's atoms are vibrating just like our our oh, atoms no, are vibrating. Oh, they surely are. So They're very much alive, for is sure. moving as much as we're moving. I think they've done tests on them where they can hear. Yeah. Um, they've done tests on them with uh, the for early tests that they did on plants to like tr really try to figure out plant consciousness. Fuck, it happened in maybe, uh, I want to say, 50s, 60s, mm -hmm. uh, more than likely 60s. But dude was using one of those fucking lie detector tests and putting it on plants. Yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. just r and just running like emotional experiments between it and the owner or the humans right. in the room based on like words they would say or like or like if I think they started with one test where like because it was in a classroom at a college, mm -hmm. and one student would come up and, and light a, uh, a match and burn the leaf of another plant that was in the same room as that plant. And supposedly the lie detector machine, whatever the fuck mm -hmm. it's called, just started going crazy. You know what I mean? I mean, a lot of the shit kind of just got pushed to the side as, you know, pseudoscience, of course. Right, of course. Uh, and I don't know Especially if they back then. Yeah. And I don't know if they ever retested it. Yeah. They just well, want to sell dude off as like a kook. Like, what, fuck this guy. What they have realized is that certain type of plants have different ways of communication. Mm -hmm. So some plants, when getting attacked by a predator, for example, yeah, yeah. like your match would be a predator. Right. 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 Or no, of bird, course. Or a bird. Or, like harm or, or right, whatever. Any, any kind of predator to the plant, it releases pheromones. So it lets the other plants know that there's something bad in the area, yeah, yeah. right? Like crows and shit. And then there are plants that communicate through their root systems. Well, they did do a recent test with plants where they, um, well, not recent. I mean, sometime in the 2000s, where they put they they put some speakers and they started playing a sound of like a deer or some mm -hmm. shit eating the plant. Yeah. And they started that's releasing what, some that's of those chemicals. About. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking they about. They started releasing some of those chemicals. So it's like, oh, shit, these they, motherfuckers can hear. They figured out that plants do communicate. Mm -hmm. And um, each each species of plant obviously communicates in a different way. Um, some are pheromones. Some are colors. Some are, they speak through the roots. Yeah. Um, a lot of them, and what connects the whole root system and everything is... Um, the fungus, fungus. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and that makes sense because when you take psilocybin, for example, it really Some unlocks shrooms. your mind, and you're able to see and feel different energies and different things than you would normally see without it, right? So maybe it's possible that well, they communicate a lot of the uh more like spiritualistic and uh or ritualistic too um like shamans and shit like that say that when you consume things like that like any kind of plant mm -hmm. like even if you're just smoking some weed mm -hmm. like you're consuming the consciousness of the actual plant you mm -hmm. know what i mean so uh if, and what do i mean by that is i guess you gain some of its like uh <sighs> Some of its traits, right? You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And so you kind of get a feeling at how elevated, yeah, 
they are and that's why they say you become you know like sometimes when you're just on a good shroom trip you like become real in touch with nature everything is like fucking beautiful you're happy you're fucking peaceful you're just Mm -hmm. like yeah man because you you become it's the, like um, the, it's, it's like, not that it's the like plant enjoys like, life, but to them, enjoying life is just energy. Well, for someone who might and not I be able to understand, a life it, form is it's just like, energy. It's like it's like when Rogue from the X Men, how she can pull like your power for a little oh, bit, fucking right? X-Men. If she touches you, she could pull your yeah, your, but she fucks power. you up in the process. Though. She fucks you up, <laughs> right? But it's like if you're smoking weed, you're fucking the plant, you're fucking the weed up. Yeah, yeah, that's right? true. Right, you're burning the weed. Yeah, you're taking you're, that. You're pulling that energy. Okay, in, yeah, yeah, like you're taking that power. You know, okay. a little bit of it always stays with you, right? Yeah. So it's like that. That's how kind of I put it. Just like it's the rogue effect. <laughs> oh shit, that's a good way to put it, man. I, I'm not mad at that. That was that was interesting. But uh, yeah, like man. But like, you might start turning like fucking blue, like Captain Planet and shit. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen it, but on Curiosity Stream, there is a documentary about how plants talk to each other mm, i i think i started watching that one i, gotta, I saw one of those i gotta re-up my my curiosity stream though i just haven't had no money in my PayPal. streaming so. service that does mostly documentaries Only, educational much. and yeah. science just all mostly. documentary shit yeah. yeah hence the name curiosity right. stream but there's no yeah. reality it's shows cool. there's no sitcoms there's no anything like that it's legit just it's like docs, when you used to watch documentary discovery channel when you were a kid yeah exactly <laughs> when they used to give or history channel like when you used to watch like those when they channels. used to give you like real yeah. science shit instead of whatever they do now now real it's, science and real history instead of reality shows yeah, like, about some dudes in the middle of a fucking jungle digging and shit who cares who cares yeah about these oh dudes? man yeah they don't who even fuck? give you no, sometimes it's like a car guy show yeah on, it's like which is like hey man i love cars just like anybody else but but take this that is, to the car channel this is discovery like, channel right. yeah I'm this trying is to discover national something new. you know no not nat geo they actually show wildlife shit yeah but or like travel channel or whatever and right. it's got fucking big ed's fucking garage you're like you why know? why is this a thing uh, because people just like how stupid it, right. that shit gets. We're like, we're building a car, and then there's going to be drama, and we're going to fight. Someone's going to get fired. I think the <laughs> only show that I like on, on Discovery or History Channel, it's actually History Channel, um, is Forged in Fire. Oh, that's the one where they make those fucking um, weapons. Right. So they like try to recreate, and shit. but they try to recreate weapons from history. Uh, swords yeah, that's and, a fucking and, and sick and ass show. Yeah. I like that. And it's a competition. But it's like it's not a competition as like who can make the sweetest fucking sword. Like you got you got you got to put it through the ringer. I mean, it's not like because it's a game show technically, but it's not a game show like it's like it's not like Jeopardy. It's not like you no, gotta go you know up what it's questions. like. You know what it's like. It's like those fucking barbecue cookoff shows. But yeah. better. But no, better. no, of course. But I'm saying so that the audience understands. Right. Like everybody, just like, hey, you have your own style of right. already forging mm-hmm. weapons, but we need you to forge this right. ex- with these materials. Like that's how they do it on the barbecue shows. Like, we don't care what you're good at grilling. Right now, you're gonna have to do a pork roast. And, and that's, blah blah blah. Yeah, and that's and you know, and like, oh man, I've never done pork roast before. And whatever. Yeah, that's how this shit is, right? Because <laughs> yeah, they'll yeah. be like, we need you to make a Damascus. Um, Bowie knife, and you're like, fuck, I've never done Damascus or before. Or even know how to spell that shit. How right. the fuck am I supposed to make a song? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck and kind of shit honestly, is that? I could, I, I'm pretty sure most of those dudes probably didn't know how to spell that shit. Yeah, but, fuck that. I would have been but Damascus. What I, like what? About, what I really like about the show is not only does... Not only are do they include the actual historic aspect of something because they're showing you swords or you know weapons that have been used from ancient times, right? Yeah, that's pretty And cool. so they're trying to recreate these weapons. <laughs> and a lot of times, they're use, most of the time, they're using modern tools, modern technology. But every once in a while, they throw a wrench in the cog and they say, hey, you got to use a coal forge or you got to do it like this. You got to do it like that. So every so often, they kind of mix it up yeah, like, and, and give you, they throw you a curveball where you're like, like, oh, on this one, you can only use your fucking feet. <laughs> like what if they said that <laughs> shit? You'd be fucked. Be like, damn, be what fucked. the fuck? Oh my god, I never forged anything with feet, but I'd be interested <laughs> to see what kind of weapons come out of that shit. And so that's probably some fine art pieces. <laughs> but that's kind of that's what I like about the show is it actually showcases real skill and real craft versus a lot of like these other reality shows. It's just people. You know, they're what? just showcasing people. I don't give a fuck about people. I want to see what people can do. 
You I'm know what also, I mean? I want to see the skills of what they've learned for the last 10, 20 yeah, years. Yeah, it's pretty cool to see someone that, like, crafts that. Like, I think I, I used to, like, one of the gun shows that they used to have on there where, like, the dudes would make, like, specialty guns or weapons. I forgot what that one was called. Yeah, man. but then that shit turned into a reality show, No, too. no, no, yeah. yeah Eventually, I like, I about. stopped watching all of them. But in that the beginning, was... I always watch it. But, yeah, that was just focused on one company and a family-run yeah, company. Yeah, yeah. And then the... The dad went down on some crazy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went down That's on some how crazy, it ended. That's how it what ended. the fuck happened? But that show was actually pretty Yeah, cool. like the feds like came show. in yeah, on his they ass. Fucked him up. <laughs> he got fucked. He, but it was some shit that didn't have to do with weapons. It was some, like, it, I can't, I don't want to say what it was. Some tax shit? No, no, I think it was like some uh, pedo shit. Oh, I think. I don't want to, I don't want to say for sure because I don't know, but I, I we'll think, look into that. We'll look yeah, into yeah. that. I don't even remember we'll what the fuck the name of that show was. But I really like that show. They made all these crazy ass. Dude, they like, made some fucking nutty ass weapons on that shit. I remember they did this one episode where they they were like, okay, we're going to do this zombie apocalypse episode. What the fuck? And um, so they wanted to create the best gun that you could use in a zombie apocalypse. Okay. Right. I mean, so that's what they weird, what they yeah, did is they took a Ruger 1022, which mm-hmm. is essentially just a 22 long rifle. Um, it's a it's a a, a plinker. It, uh, I mean, it's. It's a little rodent gun, basically. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? You should use that to shoot, you know, fucking rabbits and shit. Yeah, like, yeah, small yeah. game. It's really, really small game. And um, what they decided was, obviously, the best way to kill a zombie, based on the lore, would be a headshot. Mm-hmm. Right? So, in order to do a headshot on a moving target, you need a weapon that's going to be light, mm-hmm. easy to place on target. Mm-hmm. and not have much recoil so if you need to put a second round on target you can't just like, like it's that. fairly accurate right you know what I mean? but also if you're in a zombie apocalypse situation it's a survival situation so you're going to be on the move you're not going to be at your house or at a base or anything so you're going to be on the move a lot so not only do you need a weapon that's decently light that mm-hmm. can go anywhere but and, and do all the things that though. i said but you need to be able to carry a lot of ammo yeah, yeah, yeah. and you could carry like a thousand rounds of 22s in your pocket. Yeah, guns you know no good I mean? once you run They're out They're so ammo, small. Shit. Like, 22s are so small, you carry so many of them shits in your pocket. Oh, yeah, yeah, You could just load a whole bag full of them. So, the only problem with the 22R is it was designed a while ago, so it looks just like a basic rifle, right? Yeah. It looks like a basic rifle. So, it puts the rifle out in front of you, essentially, mm-hmm. the barrel out in front of you, and all the motion out in front of you. And... Even though it's a 22, this still will give you a lot of um, recoil on on the front end of it, right? Right. It'll, it'll make the front end bounce a lot. So what they did was they got a 3D printer and they made themselves a bullpup style stock. So for those who don't know what a bullpup is, it essentially just takes all of the front, the action part of the rifle and moves it to the back, hmm. right? Okay. So the barrel length, everything remains the same. The entire action remains the same. It just comes out of, you know, the wooden stock that it's normally in, mm-hmm. and it goes into this one. So instead of sitting here in front of you, it sits right basically in you. So it shortens the entire length of the weapon yeah. considerably. But since the barrel doesn't shorten, it's not considered, like, illegal or short barrel. Right, for, right. right. Because like the barrel, everything is, right, it's, it's still the same length. It just sets it deeper into the gun. So you and can kind of, it has a better point of contact with your body, too. Not only I that, guess. but since the action is closer toward the back, mm-hmm. when when it pulls back, it doesn't, it doesn't have the same type of recoil that it will be in the front. So if it's leaning out more in front of you and it pulls back, it's going to pull the front up. Right, more right. but if it sits back and it's nice and tight inside and you got a nice good grip in it it it, it really limits a lot you of get, the recoil you, you kind of just shift it and get like a better center of gravity right. on that yeah, exactly yeah. it's a better because, center of gravity yeah. so that's essentially what they created that's pretty cool and it actually. was pretty dope i mean that makes sense to me though now thinking about it because it's like shit maybe even You'd probably even get away with like a fucking a really solid BB gun for a little while, mm. just because you. I mean, if it's zombies, they're gonna be already that flesh is gonna be rotting and soft anyway. Yeah, you just need to put something in that fucking little skull. I don't know I guess. if a BB. I don't would know if a BB enough, would be yeah. strong enough. You're right. I but think 22 is like the 22 bottom. 22 is the the, the lowest mm-hmm. you could probably go. Yeah. yeah. 
What about like a fucking really sick slingshot? Well, because like a twenty-two, <laughs> a twenty-two isn't depending on how far away you are. It's not always guaranteed to go through the skull. It could just bounce off your fucking yeah. skull. Twenty-twos bounce. They're bounce. But, they're bouncers. But I mean, a zombie skull though could still bounce. It's the skull is the skull. Ah, the skull ain't gonna change. Yeah, the flesh true. will change, but that's the skull true. ain't gonna. The bone structure ain't gonna change. Fuck, man. Unless for some reason that zombie disease is like. It, it fucking eats up calcium or something. Yeah, but then they wouldn't be zombies. Because it'd just be like fucking just like an autoimmune disease or something that just totally just eats you. That's what I'm saying. And that's it. You're like a fucking leper, not a zombie. That's but fucking it different. But could, it could eat your brain in a way to where it's like you become a zombie. What do you think those zombies become like in their afterlife? because <laughs> oh, their brains and their bodies are still around like just <laughs> yeah i mean they're gone right yeah so they might what they're if gone they just already. disappeared into some fucking funny shit like but they I'm just, just thinking, became like a little fucking caterpillar or some shit i mean i'm just thinking <laughs> their their soul their spirit just is gone by the time oh, man. anything happens anyway they're gone and the body is is reanimated essentially what and it wouldn't be a virus, I don't think. A lot of they always want to claim it as a virus. It wouldn't be a virus. It would more likely be a parasite. Because if you look at, no, if, yeah, if you look at what's really going on in the animal kingdom, the the zombie ants, the zombie shit like that, like those bugs that be getting zombied out, yeah. it's all a parasite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, yeah. It's or, the, or there's that, that wasp. It's, that fucking. But that's how parasites have always functioned, though. They right. just use a host, right? You know what I mean, that's so that's a, you just become a host. That would be more of what I think. It's just like an evolved parasite. Yeah, I think a, that's what a zombie, zombie situation parasite. would be. I don't think it would be. What if they virus. remove the parasite, like a tapeworm, right out of your butthole, and it fucking, <laughs> <laughs> and you stop being a zombie? You're just like, oh shit, Shpurp. like what the fuck what happened, dude? You had this rammed up your ass. Look at this <laughs> fucking thing. Oh my god, it's like a fucking eel. <laughs> And you're, <laughs> and you're like, what? And dude, you were fucking trying to eat people and shit, man. Oh fuck! Like weird. Yeah. Like the eel. Yeah, man. That zombie eel, up the little booty hole, fuck man. you up. You'll be trying to eat people and shit. End up shot in the head with a twenty-two. Don't fuck around. Well, we're about an hour in already. Did you? I I have one more <laughs> little extra tidbit. This is a crazy ass little tidbit about Russia. Oh, shit. Did you know that until 2011, beer was not classified an alcoholic drink in Russia? Damn, so you could just go buy that shit like a soda? Yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, that's how they even said it, too. They said anything that was under 10% alcohol was considered a soft drink. So, yes, a fucking soda. So, if you're like, fucking, my Damn. son could have just walked in there and just been like, I want a fucking beer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shit. Uh, let me get one of them camos. <laughs> oh man, he's not ready for those. <laughs> he'll quit. He'll start beer and quit beer on the same day if he drinks one of those motherfuckers. It's over, guys. If you haven't had a camel, oh, like don't. think, Ugh. like God. ten times worse than a Mickey's, and like Mickey's is actually delicious. And fucking like, yeah, and like five hundred to like a thousand times worse than a two eleven. Okay, it's just bad shit. Like I don't even know if that's beer anymore. Man. I feel like, yeah, like it's like it's so strong. It's just like syrupy. It's like thick. No, I no, I mean, I don't even think that it's beer. Like they didn't, they never put like a stop to the fermentation. They're just like, <laughs> it's just still yeah, going. yeah, that shit's still somewhere. They just scoop it out of a fucking barrel that's just been rotting out of the fucking L.A. Yeah. River. It's just still going, and just pour it into that fucking can and sell it to you. And you get fucked up off of it, yeah, because who knows what kind of bits are in there? That shit's probably got more shit than than the fucking space debris. <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah. So, yeah. Up until 2011, beer was a soft drink in Russia. Makes that's, sense, though. That's pretty wild, actually. Makes sense. I mean... Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. they drink vodka like it's water. Well, they drink, vo they drink vodka for breakfast. They drink vodka just to stay warm. That's it. Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't even think it started as an alcoholic thing. I just think it's fucking cold as fuck <laughs> up there. They're and like, they're, yo. They're like, drink either. alcohol. <laughs> hey, that works. Oh, okay, yeah. Shit, fuck. Yeah, that works. And then, yeah, and, bef and then, like, you know, five days later, you're a raging alcoholic and you fucking, you know, everybody hates you. But you're warm. So, <laughs> fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm, hey, I'm warm. Fuck you. Yeah. That's what I would tell people if I was a Russian alcoholic. 
Shout Are you ready to get into our top five? Yeah, if you're ready. Top five cartoons. Yeah. What? Let's do it. Top five tunes. Let's do it. Oh, man. Cue up that fucking, um, that Jeopardy music. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think I could deliver like a top five already though on cartoons. Cartoons pretty easy for me because, yeah. Yeah. But I'm sure I'm going to miss a lot too. Well, there's so many cartoons. There's too many fucking cartoons. Um, like Nickelodeon really went hard when I was young. Yeah, in the 90s. In the 90s, -hmm. man, that's where you got your cartoons. Cartoon Network? I didn't even know about Cartoon Network till I went to Ecuador, my mother's homeland, mm-hmm. when I was eight years old, because that's where they were showing cartoons over there on some uh, shit called Cartoon Network. <laughs> Cartoon Network. <laughs> Vengan a ver sus dibujitos or some <laughs> fucking wild shit like that. Yeah. But it was Cartoon Network. And they were at that time, they were showing like the real old school superhero cartoons like, man, this is going to date me seriously. Like Plastic Man, homie. Oh shit! Yeah, I forgot what they call that. Mother- I don't even know what the fuck that is. Oh, dude, it's some. It's basically like where they got Stretch Armstrong from. Oh, okay. So, but it's Weird. a funny. But since it's like they, it's like the original Batman comic and all that. It's drawn like in the fifties and shit, mm-hmm. like crime comics. Yeah. He looks very cheesy like that. Like he's got a little yeah. swirly haircut with uh. goggles <laughs> and a super tight little red suit, and he just stretches. He's just like, oh, a plastic man. Weird. You know what I mean? Super corny, super. I mean, those are the superhero shit I used to watch when I was a kid. I forgot what they fucking called his ass in Spanish. I think it was like Chico Plastilina. <laughs> 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 oh man! So that was the fr- <laughs> that like was that. that was the first time. Like yeah, we're gonna have to don somebody eventually. We're gonna have a guest on here or a third party in here that's gonna be specifically called Chico Plastilina <laughs> for, <laughs> for the remainder of the podcast. That's wild. But um. No, that was my first exposure to Cartoon Network, believe it or not. It wasn't even here in the United States. Crazy, mm. crazy. That and, is crazy. But it was one of those things that, like, once you had experienced it over there, like, now I started seeing it more over here. You know what I mean? Oh, I okay. Like, I get what you're saying. It yeah. popped up. But nobody ever knew to go to those channels because you were never going to not watch fucking Doug, right, Rugrats, right, 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 right. fucking Rocco's Modern Life to mm-hmm. go watch fucking Chico Plastil. <laughs> 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 yeah, you weren't gonna do that shit. Cut the bullshit out. Uh, Stop yeah, Cartoon you're Network. Right. You're right. So Cartoon Network just didn't have the rights to I good tunes yet. I didn't fuck with Cartoon Network either. Yeah, so nobody Honestly. nobody was. Nobody it was, was it was Nickelodeon and Fox. Nickelodeon, Fox, and shit, there was another oh, one. Channel five. KTLA. Uh, KTLA because they had the Animaniacs. Oh yeah. yeah. And, and, the uh, WB. Uh, yeah, the WB. WB stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Animaniacs and um uh, Pinky and the Brain and shit Pinky like that. Pinky and the Brain. And what was that fucking dude that got electrocuted? He got shocked and he fucking had that crazy ass. A yeah. Chico Plas- no, <laughs> no, Chico Plasilina. No, fucking, uh, no, Freakazoid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Freakazoid. Yeah. yeah, they had a lot of weird shit. No, but all those, all the regular local channels actually had a lot of tunes, mm-hmm. man. Like, Back then. Yeah, they don't be- no more, huh? Well, they don't know more because they don't have to. Like, mm-hmm. now they could show whatever they want to, like, the fucking housewives or whatever, That's adults true. at home. But before it used to like they used to time it good like they I think like the cartoons would be between like four and like maybe five thirty, like they just slap on some cartoons because they'd yeah, be yeah. like at least by four o'clock we kind of know that all the kids are home mm-hmm. because school back in the days, at least f- for me, it was getting out at two forty five. Yeah. Something yeah, like yeah. That. Two forty five. Two thirty. It was always 245. around three and shit. Yeah. But, like, now the kids get out at 3. Yeah. Like, now it's just, I feel like it's a standard. Like, all the kids get out at 3. But either way, like, they were. I feel like those networks were smart enough to give it time to be, like, by 4 o'clock, we'll have them all settled in. They might have already killed the homework and shit. Mm-hmm. And they could sit and watch Animaniacs or fucking Tiny Toon Adventures or, you know, whatever the fuck yeah. they're playing. Darkwing Duck, you know. They used to have the Mighty Ducks cartoon and shit. Yeah. Remember that shit? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I think. That's why they just gave up on it. Because now my son comes home and he's just like, he throws on Netflix and shit. Right. Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? And he already knows what he wants to watch. What about uh, YouTube? Um, I don't I don't allow him on YouTube as much because it's too open. 
You know what I mean? Even on the YouTube kids shit. So what happens with YouTube kids, though, is it doesn't let you control what gets filtered. They're in charge of that. And uh, sometimes it's just shitty shit because he's legit just like trying to search for like some science shit. You know what I mean? Like He's like, I want to see a video that we were watching the other day about like Venus oh, or whatever. Okay, and okay. he'll throw it on and fucking YouTube kids is going to give him the planet song. Oh. You know what I mean? And he's not exactly four years old anymore. Right. So he doesn't want to hear, you know. Yeah, Mercury yeah. is the closest, you know right, what I mean? Right, Some right. fucking weird little jingle about the planets. Nah, mm-hmm. he's really trying to find out if Venus was ever even sustainable for life or if it could ever be. You know what I mean? He's mm-hmm. asking those questions like, what the fuck? Yo, man. <laughs> like, shit, I forgot to ask that question today. That's a question I should be <laughs> asking. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, the reason why I was asking so, about that is because so YouTube have you kids seen... YouTube Kids is just shitty, man. Have you seen that Momo Sucks. shit? I heard about it, but... I'm not I'm not too worried about it because my son's the kind that he'll tell me to go watch, especially if it's some creepy shit. Mm. And not even because he's scared. He'll just be like, Dad, come watch this fucking... Because you know, he, he knows I'm into horror. And he's kind of like... I could already tell that he's got the bug early. Like right. he, he wants, he wants to, to watch he's scary still shit. Scared. Yeah, he's but still he's scared. scared. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, yeah he's scared, yeah, but yeah. he bugged no, me. I get you. He bugged me so much to watch fucking It that I... The new I, one? Yeah, the new one. And I was like, dude, no, that shit's fucking bloody. It's violent. It's fucking creepy. So one day I was just like, man, you know, he he just kept telling me that he was tough. And, he, you know, he was trying to prove it to me, you know, I mean, vocally or whatever. And I'm like, dude, no. And so one day I just thought about it. It was early. It was probably like maybe like eight in the morning. And we were both up on a Sunday, you know, mm. so nobody was really up. It's right. kind of like a lazy Sunday, and we're both kind of just relaxing. The sun's coming in through the fucking windows. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe this is a great time to fucking slap it on and show them what it's right, about. Because it's still early in the day. And it's, it's daytime. Like it didn't freak them out yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah. Like the setting wasn't dark and just, <gasps> what the fuck? Or like, <gasps> did I see something? Right. You know what I mean? Your mind's not going to play tricks on you. You know what I mean? So shout out to Ghetto Boys. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> but I also just like skipped to all the major parts, like to the scary parts. Mm. I purposely skipped to the scary parts as opposed to the other way, right? Where like, I feel like maybe back in the days or another parent might have just been like, no, we're just going to go through the whole movie without the scary parts. Like, no, you want to fucking see this shit? You think you're bad? All right, I'm just going to put the scary shit because I don't want to sit through this whole movie. I didn't personally want to do it. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> and yeah, I was like, I'm just going to give you what's going to satisfy you. You know, what's going to quench that little thirst you got already for horror. Mm-hmm. So here you go. I'm going to give it to you. So I and and I was able to gauge him too to, to his response to it. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. I got to some scenes where it's just like, where like the dude, the fucking kid's arm gets fucking eaten off. You know what I mean? And it's showing the fucking yeah, kid. Yeah, with, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So I'm kind of looking at him like, oh shit. <laughs> like, damn, this is a pretty graphic shit. But I'm looking at him and he's just like, eh. He's like, what? It's fucking desensitized as fuck now, dude. Nowadays, yeah. Yeah, it, nothing fucking spooks them like that because mm-hmm. they so much know that it's fake. That like, shit would have been crazy if we were kids and we saw man, that Man, back then, even Whoa. though we knew shit was fake too, because it's like, I knew shit was fake too, man. Yeah. But it was just, I don't know why it felt like it was very realistically Hell possible. Yeah. And just, I don't oh, know. you it were just. Different. Yeah, it was it different. It was just different. Maybe because they can, uh, they also watch YouTube videos where, um, there's a lot of content creators that are doing some sweet ass visual effects mm-hmm. on their shit too. You know what I mean? So I think that also desensitizes to them to it because they know that's something that's ultra fake, right? Yeah. Like when a YouTube yeah. content creator, like the type of shit they're watching at least, or that I see my son watching is always some, like, it's probably some young guy in his early twenties or maybe even like 18, 17 year old dudes. And they're just like, hey, guys, thanks for coming on my channel. Yeah, like, yeah. S- please subscribe so I can get my thousand likes and a bunch yeah. of jump cuts and all this fucking mm-hmm. weird. Like, man, it's just it's insane. Works. No, it, it's definitely how it works. Like, I'm not even mad at it. We used to get commercials like that, right? Like Starburst commercials, mm-hmm. Gushers, fucking, you know, Tricks, Count Chocula, all that noise. But it's, uh, yeah, it's just, it's strange. It's strange because it feels so fake to them. It's almost like when, I don't know if you ever saw Pee Wee's Playhouse when you were young, yeah. but I saw Pee Wee's Playhouse. And it, in reality, like if you would have dreamt that shit, you'd be fucking scared. You know what I mean? You'd be like, what the I fuck is going on? Always creeped out by uh, Pee Wee Herman. But me, I enjoyed it. I loved that shit. I loved how weird and wacky and just insane it was. I was always creeped out but, by the dude. But, I, by the dude. but I understand 
for people that are creeped out by it, 100%. Yeah. I get the creep factor for sure. It was a weird yeah. fucking show. It was a fucking shroom trip of a show. Yeah. So it's like, that would be like a bad shroom trip. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Maybe. It was just creepy. You're just like, what the fuck? But I enjoyed that shit because I knew it was super like outlandishly fake like oh, all yeah, the emphasis yeah, yeah. they would put up, ah what's the word of the right. day you know what i mean like that fucker like just weird so you're like oh this is weird but it's supposed to be weird it's still like it knows it, it's aware of itself you know what i mean right. so whatever i i think that's what happens too and they could follow like makeup artists too like i caught my son when he was a little bit younger checking out these videos where like some it was some uh, girl too. She would show how you could make like fake fingers, and oh, then like yeah. slice them with I a seen, fucking knife. I seen, knife. <laughs> I seen shit like that too. And it's I all saw, bloody and shit. Nah, but crazy. I saw one it dude crazy, do it. Dude. One dude did that, like where you just slice it. <laughs> I think he did it as a foot. Yeah. But then when like he sliced it and like he moved it, it was a cake. Like oh, he sliced the cake. That fuck. shit was tight. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, it really looked like a foot though? Yeah, like he designed it to look <laughs> like a foot. Like it looked legit. I think it was a jump cut though or something, but because I saw it a long, long time ago. Like I remember shit like I I've seen shit like that though. You I know what think though? Regardless, fun. regardless, like I want that cake on my birthday. Isn't that, isn't that yeah, it? yeah. Like I want a real. If you could get me a cake that looks like a real fucking foot, I don't even give a fuck if you slap a sandal on it. Slap a fucking sandal on that shit. Make it look, <laughs> you know. Prop that shit up, nice, dude. Throw it. Throw in like a little bottom calf, you know. Look, huh. you know what I mean? Fuck it. Yeah. Sh- oh shit, <laughs> you know, with a heel, I'd be down with that. Like I'd be so happy seeing people cut into that fucking foot. Huh. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyways, we kind of veered off the fucking cartoons. We sure man, did. We just went down. Car- that That's what cartoons have a way of doing, though. Like, there's a certain type of nostalgia that I feel is even more precious or more special when it's nostalgia from when you were a kid, right? Because you could be nostalgic about anything, but, like, when you're nostalgic about shit when you're a kid, oh, man, it just brings, like, a whole nother level of joy. Yeah, it's a different feeling. Yeah, because you're like, wow, it takes you back to being that kid, I guess. It's a different feeling. Yeah, I mean, as opposed to being like, oh, man, I'm nostalgic about the fucking Kobe and Shaq Lakers. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, I feel it. Yeah. I get your... But people would be, uh, yeah, just I'm as an analogy, not. like, People would be like, oh, my gosh, yeah, those were great times. I'm <laughs> like, no, nah, you know what was fucking great times? Was watching G.I. Joe or Mighty Mouse or fucking Popeye. Remember Popeye? Yeah. Just fucking tearing up that spinach, and then he would just get strong and bully the fuck out of everybody. That shit was a crazy-ass show about just fucking, I, you know, like, just violence. Out at what the fucking, fucking bars. Steroids were in those bars and, and that shit. Spinach, yeah, you? that spinach was bullshit because my parents and my grandma sold me on that shit afterwards. I was like, damn, yeah, I need that spinach. Popeye's huh. got it going on. And it's fucking. And back in the. Like, I actually like spinach in my salads now. Like, spinach is bomb. Hmm. Or, like, I'll even, like, I'll kind of saute some yeah. spinach sometimes and it'll be so delicious to pair with something. Well, I could tell you this. I like, I like that shit better than I like lettuce. Mm. Lettuce is trash. I like them both. But anyways, like when I was a kid, they for some reason we didn't get that fucking spinach, man. For all these people out there that are like, "Ah, oh, I like fucking spinach." As soon as we said it, no. Listen, we I got this fucking spinach that was like boiled in a soup. And this shit this shit came out looking like fucking Rick James Jerry wow. curl. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? Like what the fuck is this? Like some se- seaweed, like pulling it out of the ocean. I swear to god, that's what it looked like. And it was fucking disgusting. It was just like soggy ass leaves and shit. So, fuck all that. And yeah, there was definitely something in Popeye spinach. Popeye, we're on your ass. Some bullshit, dude. <laughs> Sailor with some big ass forearms. Who are you fooling? Woody Woodpecker was was. Oh man, that was a good one for me. That was kind of a wacky show too. It was all right. What about like this? Is a fucking classic, right here. And they started doing new ones of it. Shit. I was at a fucking bar in Long Beach last Sunday. Went for their little brunch. You know what I mean? Because they got some killer micheladas there. And I went to go do some work there. You know, I was doing some edits while I was just hanging out there. And I also ate some breakfast there. But um, 
up on the screen while you're there drinking and people are fucking being loud and they, mm-hmm. but up on the fucking TVs they had Tom and Jerry playing oh, dude right. it was awesome yeah just sitting there drinking watching fucking Tom and Jerry is the fuck it's I think Tom and Jerry and Looney Tunes are the only two cartoons that could pull that off huh. like if you're in like a setting like that where you don't even need to hear the TV and it's still funny cuz it's so like wild gestures of just animated like wacky violence <laughs> going on in that bitch yeah that shit is wild too dude tom and jerry's that shit was awesome. wild like i i don't know if you remember this but uh back in the day on the um like when you would buy jelly like strawberry jelly or mm-hmm. just you know like jelly for sandwiches and shit It have they used to tom have tom and jerry, and jerry on, on the shit. outside yeah, yeah. you remember that yeah. shit they used to have you, Tom and Jerry on a lot of shit. Yeah. And you keep, you keep those little glasses, and we I remember my uh, great grandparents. They used to keep those like the, those jars every once in a while. Yeah, they would yeah. keep them, and they would just use them as like a cup because it was like a pretty big jar. You know, I mean, a lot no, of people no, no, use yeah. jars as cups, but but it like was a tight. mason jar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was basically like that, but like a slim one, more like a cup than a jar, yeah, yeah. right? But it had the Tom and Jerry shit on the on the outside, like the animation on the outside. They were dope, dude. No, those were cool. Were yeah, I, I wish that. I could find that. I remember that. I, I'm pretty sure. Oh, you could find it. No, I'm you saying I wish it. I could find that here in their stuff. I know they probably, oh, we probably yeah, kept yeah. it yeah, in their yeah. boxes. I still yeah. have a couple of their boxes. Yeah, like stuff. I'll run into, at my mom's house, I'll run into like uh, those Batman Forever glasses oh, that you used yeah, to get from McDonald's yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. And the handles, the fucking Two Faces coin. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got that cup. I got a few of those that pop up just randomly sometimes, and I'm like, oh, man, see, that's another layer of nostalgia where it's just like, yeah. I love that. Man, those cups were dope. They don't do shit like that no more, huh? Nah, not even the toys that they give the kids. I mean, my son still gets Happy Meals. I mean, I remember we had to buy them extra separately. They were like five bucks or something a cup. I remember that, but they were dope-ass collector's cups, like. Yeah, no. And not, not even just on some like collector that. shit. It was just dope to just have. No, and it was just a nice piece like of glass. Use. You were just so happy to bring yeah. that shit home the day you were brought home. Like, whoa. I always, you're like, I always want to drink from this cup. <laughs> McDonald's used to do, always do that, man. But Tom and Jerry, like, that's where the Simpsons got that itchy and scratchy from. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what they were basically poking fun at. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So... But that's how crazy Tom and Jerry was for its time, too. Because sometimes they'd be just fucking smoking big ass cigars and getting drunk on that <laughs> fucking <laughs> show, too. Oh, Yo, that uh, shit was wild. Cartoons were wild back then. They let you do anything. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Remember on a couple of Looney Tunes, yeah, they had they like to... those episodes where the mobsters would come? Yeah, they yeah. used to let these motherfuckers do <laughs> And they're shooting, shit. they're bringing out guns and just shooting at motherfuckers. I guess, yeah. I guess they've always gotten away with putting shit in cartoons because people don't pay that much attention to them. They don't take it as seriously. They just don't. Right. They just don't. Like, that shit would have never They've fly on, like, put... a sitcom. No, no not back no, then. No, no, no. Like, but they always put that kind of yeah, shit Yeah, like, in imagine, like, fucking Law and Order back in fucking 1940s. And They've shit. been fucking with us for a long time. People, oh, What about, speaking of the past, what about the future? What about the fucking Jetsons? Remember that shit? Yeah. Jetsons was cool. The Jetsons was crazy. They had that robot made. <laughs> and then this motherfucker's car would turn into a little luggage, little suitcase. <laughs> yeah, he just walks up to his desk. Oh, man, that's a fucking super weird dystopian show. Like, Im- imagine they did that shit as, like, a real live show. But, like, they added, like, an element of darkness to it. Like, realness, yeah. you know? Like, because they, remember, they were always living in the sky. You never saw what the planet looked like that they were supposedly living on, whether it was Earth or not. Like, you never saw the bottom. What if oh, the bottom is just true. totally fucked up and they have to live in these sky pots? That's true. You know what I mean? They, did, they didn't show the bottom. They huh? never showed the bottom. You never got to see the bottom. They're always because just the flying. bottom was Blade Runner. Yeah, the bottom was probably Blade Runner, mm-hmm. or some crazy shit, or probably like. Um, did you ever watch that movie with Tom Cruise? Was it was it called Oblivion? I think mm-hmm. it's called Oblivion. Yeah, where the everybody on Earth has died or left. They took off, mm-hmm. and he's the only one there, and he's investigating like what went wrong. Uh-huh. Like why the atmosphere got fucked up, and they're sending them on these little missions and shit. And uh, yeah, that's crazy. It's a pretty cool movie, actually. Seen that. It's a pretty cool sci-fi Tom Cruise. I don't want to ruin it. Like yeah, if yeah, I yeah. talk more about no, it, I it'll ruin you. it. Yeah, yeah. It'll no, I, I, it. I'm probably checking it out. But it's a it's a fucking cool movie. It's trippy. Tom Cruise, man. So where are we at on your list? What you got for Ooh. me? I went first last week, so this time go first. Man, all right. 
And number five. Fuck, man. <laughs> it's just I'm I as I was talking about the other cartoons, ah, there's so much shit. Yeah. Listen, we're really gonna have to do full episodes for like our greatest top fives. Like rehash them and really do Well, my thought was like get them we, right. Well, my thought was when we do videos, when we start up the video side of this, um, we should just take our top fives from the podcast to the video. Okay. And then just do episodes based on just the top five that we're going to talk okay. about. You know okay. what I mean? I like that. All right. Well, here's my top five then. At number five, I have a... Um, oh, man. Who's the fucking... Uh, who's the creator of fucking Beavis and Butthead? I forget what his fucking name is. I just, I'm fucking Mike, Mike Judge. Judge. Mike Judge. Damn, mm -hmm. we got it at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Took me a second. Okay, Mike Judge. So I was a big time Mike Judge fan when I was young because I think that Mike Judge was like, he, he was kind of pioneering with the Simpsons, but he was pushing it to the next level that was eventually the Simpsons was going to take the fame that they had and roll to that next level because they're going to see that it's possible. But I mm. feel like he's a pioneer of pushing the limits of where cartoons could be. Cause that was like the first car. Like when you put out Beavis and Butthead, that was the first cartoon where like people were outraged. They, okay. People for back in the days when the internet didn't That's exist, true. people would go crazy if they saw some, any kind of derogatory mm -hmm. shit. Like, Especially in a cartoon because they're like, they're just marketing bad stuff to children. Oh, my. Dude, it You're was like, crazy. Dude, this shit's on MTV. No. This shit ain't on fucking yeah, so, Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon. This shit's on MTV. This right, right. for a different generation. Right. Just because it's animation doesn't mean it's for kids. Right. So, like. And as a kid, watching Beavis and Butthead, I wasn't allowed. So, sorry, Mom. But <laughs> watching Beavis and Butthead. See? I wasn't allowed either, but, that's but I watched That's it. the point. Yeah. We weren't even allowed yeah, we to weren't watch allowed. it. Because shit would come out in the news. Like, wh I think on an episode like uh, Beavis and Butthead, they end up fucking lighting a, tra a dumpster fire Bro, behind the restaurant. Bro, think about this, though. But think about this. And some kids actually did this, though, in, like, oh, their shit. neighborhood or whatever. And this kind of arsony bullshit was going to happen anyway. Right. Kids want to burn some shit. They're, They're going to fucking burn some, burn some, some shit, shit, all right? And, of course, everybody right away, just fucking the whole cult against fucking Beavis and Butthead was like... They got influenced by the fucking cartoon right. that's over there doing all this. That's oh how they my. do it. Yeah, so but it was, it's like it was if, a big ordeal. If you think about it, like now it doesn't even fucking matter. That's what I was just gonna say. It's like if you think <laughs> about it, like, bro, we weren't allowed to watch a cartoon. Yeah, and my son watched some wild shit. Like I would have never you, been allowed to watch SpongeBob SquarePants. Probably that? based on the content that based on the SpongeBob? shit like that yeah. I watch when he watches it. I didn't allow him to watch it for a while. Actually, mm -hmm. I was on it. I was yeah. like, no, because I, I allowed it in the beginning when he was really young. Cause I was just like, ah, eh, SpongeBob. And I never really watched SpongeBob. So I was like, eh. but the thing is, then they let us get away with like, it was crazy. Cause it'd be like, man, you can't watch Beavis and Butthead, but they didn't know nothing about Ren and Stimpy because Ren and Stimpy was on Nickelodeon. Right. And then, and yeah. it was like, because Ren and Stimpy was on Nickelodeon, but it was ten the times worse, dude. It yeah, was but the worst. Yeah, but worst, this is the, shit. but this is the, this is what changes that. And so, if you really like, if Beavis and Butthead was gaining steam mm -hmm. at your school, mm -hmm. okay, because we were young, you were like, "Fuck, they're watching Beavis and Butthead." What? What channel do you watch it on? They'd be like, "Oh, that shit's on MTV." You'd be like, "MT what?" I got ABC, NBC, <laughs> CBS, and I think that's about it. Everything else is static, motherfucker. What the fuck is MTV? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I didn't I know want about my MTV. Yeah, those were premium channels, people. You didn't get like a hundred basic channels like you get now for thirty dollars a month. But however, so back then, I didn't have MTV. Back then, everybody was cord cutting already. And by cord cutting, black I mean, box. They yeah. had the black box. No, that's true. But if you I didn't had have the black, the black box, box then, I but, had it. But here's the problem: I had the black box eventually too. But when you didn't have it, if Yo, you really, yeah, you didn't if, know. if you really wanted to watch Beavis and Butthead, guess what you had to do? Yeah, you had to go ask your mom or your dad. Can we get MTV? Why? Why the fuck you want to watch MTV? What do you know about MTV? Uh, I I like music. 
and I want to watch music videos. Nah, I want my MTV. Nah, fuck Remember, that. Remember, MTV started that whole campaign, that yeah. I want my MTV campaign. That whole, and it started with that one song, video killed yeah, the yeah. radio mm -hmm. star, and it just became crazy because they were just promoting, no, everything is going to be TV. It's, yeah. you know. Everybody was like, I want my MTV. MTV was one of the biggest like yeah. proponents of like mm -hmm. the digital age, yeah, yeah, really. For sure. You know? They I mean, kind of launched it. Bro, they started that shit. They started reality shows. They like, started those reality game shows like that was the kind thing. of shit that was like viral they started then. all that that shit. was viral uh, virality yeah. i don't know if that's even a fucking word no. but that was virality yeah. back then i guess with road rules and right. real world and all that shit those were the first reality shows you're right yeah. okay that's how it, that's so so anyways we went on well they weren't the first sort of well, they were the first i would say drama fueled ones they were the first written um well drama fueled yeah uh, written reality shows. Because they what? were first. Because there was already reality shows from the seventies, where um, they had filmmakers go into a family's house, follow the family for however long. Oh, and, really? And show the yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? I didn't know about that. Mm -hmm. I really thought I like what, I really believe right now that called. MTV was the fucking start of reality. I TV. can't remember what it's called. But At least in my memory. Yeah. They re they made a movie about it recently. And that's how I know about it myself too. Uh, okay. They made a movie about it. It's on HBO, and it's got Gandolfini in it. But James Gandolfini. Here's a little here's a little fun fact about Real World though. Real World wasn't technically full blown staged at first. Hmm. So what they were doing is the producers were just fucking manipulating the shit out of the people that moved into the house, and so they would just like start rumors oh yeah and yeah, just, yeah yeah, yeah so, that was before they started. yeah they were almost making it like uh, sort of like an improv kind of <laughs> shape like they were just pitting everybody against each other and just causing the drama right but the but the kids that were involved thought everything was real you know if you ask them all of that shit really went down you know <laughs> they're like yeah i fucking got in a fight with whoever or i really got drunk and ended up hooking up with both of the fucking people at the party or whatever but uh, no. But anyways, I went on my whole tirade talking about Mike Judge because fucking cartoons were banned back in the day. But at my number five, because we're still doing my top five. Well, I forgot <laughs> we're doing a top five. Yeah, my top five. We are not on it today. Like it's okay. It's gonna be a, a long episode because uh, we've m we've missed an episode, right? Not an episode, but we missed a day. We're coming back. It's been raining too much in L.A. Um, but at number five is a Mike Judge. Obviously, a Mike Judge. Um cartoon and it's actually not beavis and butthead but king of the hill yeah that shit was dope with boom howard that would just and he was a pimp he was smooth as fuck he'd always have chicks at his house and shit and everybody would be hating they're drinking fucking beers in the front Damn it, Bobby. Yeah, everybody thought Bobby was gay and shit. Uh, <laughs> fucking, yeah, Dale's wife is sleeping with John Redcorn. <laughs> Dude, that show was epic. Oh, Dude, shit. that show was pretty fucking layered for a cartoon. It was very much like yeah. an adult cartoon. Well, it was. In terms it of, was. no, but I mean even an adult cartoon in terms of like, even at the time that I was watching it, like a lot of people my age were not attracted to it at all. Oh, they were like, no. man, this shit's a boring ass. I think a lot of people. Like, what the fuck? This like, shit is funny. I think a lot of people didn't like it either because it was very like South rednecky, yeah. Texas, yeah. you know. Right. Yeah. I think that's why a lot of people but, didn't like but it. But that's how Mike. Ju here. That's Mike Judge, though. Right. You know what I mean? But, well, my thing was, is he finally perfected his craft? Right, and I feel like King of Ooh, the Hill, Mike Judge. Yeah. Oh, okay. I felt like King Hill was when he finally perfected it. Oh yeah, because he wasn't just because Beavis think... and Butthead and Daria were just raw. Like they were just like, and they're pretty generic. Honestly, on I want to say that they're pre they're they were experiments. To be honest, yeah, I yeah. think they were just experiments. Right. They were just like, mm -hmm. hey, let's like what happened with South Park, another g crazy ass cartoon that came out eventually. Like that was just an experiment. Yeah. You know, that went crazy. Anyways, so number four. Another Mike Judge, and I think we've talked about this one just just enough. But Beavis and Butthead, and honestly, maybe like watch rewatching some of those episodes. I wouldn't say that Beavis and Butthead is super great. Like it's not the greatest shit, mm -hmm. but I think it is a little bit of that. Like we weren't allowed to do it. 
Yeah. So it made it like so it more gives you special. That, it gives yeah. you that like, extra. It gave it that edge where it's just mm-hmm. like, oh, fuck, we're watching Beavis and Butthead. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, gotta it does be careful give you that, that my parents don't walk in. Like, what the fuck? Like, if you're smoking weed in the yeah. fucking it, <laughs> it does in the closet or some shit. Like, I it's remember weird. looking back, it did it did have that feeling to it for sure. Right. So it, it makes it that. Which kind of segues into my number three because my number three was also banned by my parents. What kind of shit is this, man? We had cartoons banned. Back in the days, I guess that's sort of the same thing as me kind of banning some YouTube shit from my son. Mm. I guess it's equivalent. Fuck it. But anyways, it, it was The Simpsons. We're not allowed to watch Simpsons. What? Yeah. Yeah. No oh, man. way. Oh, yeah. Because, well, what? you got to think. This doesn't even make sense. Well, let me explain. In my household, we had a father who worked a lot of jobs, but he was more than occasionally drunk all the time. And so my mom was basically curating all the shit that we did in those terms. Mm. And she was watching a lot of that shit. And the kids are talking bad. Like in my household, if you were when you were a kid, like saying shit like stupid was a bad word. Mm. Dude, like you couldn't say stupid in front of my mom. You're you're fucked. (laughs) Like literally like, damn, you fucked up. You just look over there and you get that Kobe death stare. And you're just like, man, I'm fucked. (laughs) <laughs> but I had to say stupid or, or dumb or shit like that. And mm. so Bart and Lisa and all them are very much like that. And then Homer's the drunk dad that's fucking just right. lazes around and is just kind of like, you know. So I think that was like almost like a reflection of my dad to my mom. Mm. She was like, fuck that. It was very like Al Bundy-ish because that was also banned in our household. But we still watched all of this shit yeah. because Channel 11 would do you a nice favor and put them on real nice and late. And me and my sisters would just, you know, we'd team up and say, you know what, we're going to watch that shit. <laughs> I mean, after our parents go to sleep, fuck it. You know what I mean? We'd watch The Simpsons or we'd back each other up sometimes. Like, I remember because my sisters had a room and I didn't have a room. Mm. I used to sleep in the living room because we were dead broke. But um, so sometimes my sisters would be in the room watching Simpsons and I had to be fucking lookout and we'd switch off. Oh, you know okay. what I mean? Like, just make sure mom's not coming, because then we'll just put it on last. Remember the last button? Oh, yeah, Dude, yeah. Dude, the last button was epic, dude. last button was epic. Yeah, you just found the other channel you wanted to put it on. And it goes, you know bloop, I mean? back to the Discovery yeah. Channel. Yeah. So or something boring as stupid. Yeah, like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, you guys up at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock watching yeah, we're, a boring ass documentary about listen, fucking Listen, parents were fucking up back then. in the 1800s and Yeah, shit. parents were fucking up by yeah. them by not asking those questions. Because yeah. that's the first thing I'll ask. I'll be like, yeah, right, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Give me that remote. Uh, Last. Yeah, we're both last. <laughs> <laughs> right. Get your ass. You know, yeah, march your ass good. down where you need to go. Fuck but that. that. Was but it was the Simpsons. But so, yeah. that was also the beauty of technology, too. It's like we were always ahead of our parents when it came to Oh, just, yeah. Even a little button that's labeled last. I know. They didn't know about it. No. Like, it's, on, it's right in your face. You what's, know what's crazy is I, I thought that that was going to be a natural progression, too. Like, man, fuck, my son's going to start fooling me because mm-hmm. I'm not going to be technology savvy. But... And and I just kept waiting because I was a very technology savvy kid. Right. So I just kept waiting for that time where it was just going to pass me up or I was just going to be or I was going to be stay behind, you know, right. and I was just going to be like, I'm fucking totally lost. But um, but w- there's so much easy access to information out there now that it doesn't matter. You can't fool me. Right. You can't fool me. Dude. <laughs> like, nah, you might fool me for like a day or two, but it's not going to happen like we were fucking with our parents with the yeah, last button. No, no. They're just like, huh? What does last mean? Yeah. I always mm-hmm. wondered what that last button meant. Nah, yeah. who cares? Exactly. You know what I mean? Okay, so that number two. Now Wait, th- go back. How, uh, oh, how do we get to two? Two, Because we're at number five, King of the Hill. Number four, Beavis and Butthead. Okay. Two Mike Judges back to back. And then we went Simpsons okay. number three. Okay. I don't think we need to really explain the Simpsons. No, no, you know no. what I mean? So whatever. No, but at number two, oh man, number two is major for me. But it was X-Men. The animated mm-hmm. series before all these fucking bullshit well, X-Men yeah. movies came out, okay? This From shit. 90s X. Yeah, animation. this shit was exactly like the fucking comics <laughs> too. If you're into the comics, like the fucking way that the costumes and all that were set up. It was just a really cool fucking cartoon to the point where you're watching it the way you watch like TV shows now. Like you couldn't wait till the next episode. Yeah. You hated when like it the ended syndic- on a cliffhanger. Yeah. Or, or like the fuck. syndication fucked up and they started on a whole nother storyline. Oh, yeah. And you're like, what? Wait, what? Yeah. No. Yeah. But yeah. actually, um, it what I I looked into that because I know exactly what you're talking about. The syndication never fucked up. It was how the 
because they changed their animation studios midway through. Uh huh. And they went from I think from Japan to Korea. Okay. Right with the animation, so it kind of changed on their timelines. Changed uh, based on how they could turn around the work. Yeah. So okay. they kind of only aired what they had instead of the next episode, which would have been the right one, because there's a there is a correct order in which all of the episodes go in, and there is the list of order in which they were aired. The chronological order. Right. Yeah. Both th- both don't match. Right. So okay. it really wasn't about. That's how maybe Fox Eleven fucked up. It was really no. You they, know what they do that now. Animation they do that now shit. because there's a Star Wars uh, cartoon that my son used to watch when he was younger. He kind of got over it already. That Clone Wars one. Yeah, that Clone Wars one, and it's like that too. Like, mm. like there, because I wanted to start following the storyline once I started watching it with right. him. Like I looked it up on the internet, yeah. and they give you the episodes to jump to if you're following a certain storyline, oh. and it'll be like for this one, start episode five, and then you're gonna go to yeah, season three. And you're going to go to episode eight of season three. Right. And then you're going to come back over here. You know what I mean? It's that's crazy. That's annoying. No, it is annoying. But I just had to look it up. And then I never really truly did it. I yeah. maybe did it for like two episodes. And I'm like, I'm over this shit. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> like, it wasn't that crazy. Right. It wasn't that. It didn't make it that exciting or that much better. Mm-hmm. Okay. And number one is a fucking no-brainer, okay? If you have not seen this cartoon, just fucking slap yourself and slap the person right next to you if there's someone sitting But right if you next have you. Amazon Prime, you can see this cartoon. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Uh, because even to get this shit on DVD, it still costs like fucking five hundred dollars no, just to buy it's not one that DVD. Much. It's yeah, not it's like a fucking much. quantum computer. It's not now. that much just to get that shit. No, it's but seriously, it's now. still, but it's still expensive. No, no, for a DVD, not Blu-ray, because they never made them into Blu-rays. They have it in Blu-ray now. No, they don't have them in Blu-ray. Yes, are you sure? Can you now. confirm? We need yeah. a confirmation that that shit's on okay, Blu-ray. Okay, you talk about it and I'll look it up. But it's it's uh the greatest. Yes. The greatest cartoon series of all time. One of the first cartoons to incorporate using actual, like, black, you Mm. know, in terms of using negative space properly. Like, just aesthetically, oh, man. Batman the Animated Series, goddammit. Because I could just talk about it forever, but Batman the Animated Series changed the whole fucking game for me when I saw that. That shit I saw like a real show. That shit I was watching it like the way I watch Game of Thrones now. You know what I mean? That's how much I loved Batman the Animated Series and just how fucking cool it was. And how much you just... How much it just taught you about the fucking... um, About... Oh shit, it is on Blu-ray? Yeah, man. Wow. That shit's been on my wish list for a minute. It took forever, but see, but for that Blu-ray, it's, it's 66 sold. bucks. But that's from a third-party seller. It's not even from Amazon. Wow. It's always sold out. Shit, ever since it probably The DVDs? Went. Oh, HC's but see, it just came out into it 2018. I hadn't checked for a while. I had it on... Um, I have, no, this is the... Um, the release date, yeah. Of this the is Blu-ray. the wrong version, though. This is the... Uh, this is the um, wrong region. Yeah, so because this won't because I've been trying to search for that Blu-ray for a long time and I I have not found it. I basically stopped searching, but no, this one won't play on. It regular, might have been like a year or two but the last time I checked. It won't play on regular Blu-ray players. Yeah, but you could go and fucking buy one right here at Tokyo Central for uh, you know, probably, get in any yeah, all-region fucking DVD player. That's yeah. not a problem. But uh, yeah, as soon as. I always told myself, as soon as that motherfucker hits Blu-ray, like, I'm buying it. I don't give a fuck. But it is expensive. They'll sell you, like, maybe one season I don't think that's for, bad. like, 70 bucks or some shit. I don't think that's bad at all, actually. 65 bucks. I mean... For four seasons. Is it four seasons packed mm-hmm. in that shit? Mm-hmm. Okay. How many seasons did that show have overall? Like four. Four? Okay, mm-hmm. so that's it. The complete shit. Mm-hmm. For 60... Okay, yeah, that's not bad. Right. Last th- Well, when it was on the DVDs, those are expensive. The DVDs are expensive, man. Not anymore. And the point was that I wasn't going to pay that for fucking DVDs. <laughs> like, no, nah, I feel it. Yeah, like, what's the point of that? Fuck that. I feel it. The 66 bucks for a Blu-ray? That's reasonable, but 66 bl- bucks for a fucking DVD? No. Nah. Hell no. Yeah. Um. For the DVD, it's pretty cheap, actually. It's not too bad. Not much. For volume one, it's $50. <laughs> what the fuck is volume one? Two episodes and shit? 
the fuck? Uh, Bonus features? You don't even get the fucking cartoon. Man. And it's 50 bucks. I'm telling you. I don't know who's fucking selling that one, but Amazon's Choice got it. <laughs> uh, Batman animated series, the complete first volume, $14.99. Fuck. Oh, my God. I want this, though. They have a... Uh, <laughs> what's your favorite? Okay, so that's your... That's my favorite of all time. Your Batman but what's your favorite episode? Series. Oh, man. That's hard. That's hard because I don't remember them by name, to be honest. Oh, man. I don't remember them by name. That's why I really want that fucking Blu-ray. I want to rewatch all that just, shit. You have Amazon Prime. Just watch if it. If it's on Amazon Prime, on I'm Amazon definitely going to check that out. Because yeah, I'm going to expose my son to that shit. I watch that shit all the time. But my favorite episode. From, That's how good of a show it is. Like, from Batman, uh, the anime series, was the uh, Grey Ghost episode. Which one's that? What well, it's, it's um, essentially when... Batman was a kid when when Bruce Wayne was oh, a little yeah, kid. Yeah, okay. He grew up Saturday mornings watching a cartoon called The Grey Ghost, mm-hmm. right? And The Grey Ghost was essentially it's essentially like when he was a kid watching that. That's how I felt watching him, right? Yeah, yeah. How I feel watching like that Batman. was his direct inspiration. Right? So that was his to inspiration to become Batman, yeah. right? The mm-hmm. the the, the persona, the character, the, right? Yeah, the masked crusader, right? Or right, the exactly. Vigilante, you know. So, uh, but what was tight justice. about that episode is um, the Great Ghost is actually voiced by Adam West. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's like That's it's cool. all this weird like tie-ins, tie-ins shit, together yeah. that make it like like they're really making dope. it like uh, a real fanboy. Episode, yeah, for sure. yeah. Like so, you can geek the fuck yeah. out on that. So episode. I I do geek the fuck out, but I also like the episode. But yeah. Not no. Well, all that. the episodes. I I think that's what I failed to explain on my side is the way that they're done. Like they're structured very oh, yeah. well. Like yeah, it's yeah. a legit. Oh man. Yeah. They're 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 legit. But in this episode, um, so the the character Adam West plays, um, he's basically a washed actor. You know what I mean? Like he he's not getting no work. He's broke. So he starts selling his leftover memorabilia that he's kept over all these years okay. right so he's selling all like the gray ghost material and shit right because mm-hmm. he's broke he needs to make rent and um there's an episode of the gray ghost that the villain uses toy cars with explosives and now in gotham there is a villain who's using the exact is going through the exact same plot it's like a copycat. Right. Yeah. So Bruce or Batman begins to think that you just gave away his identity. Dude. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. They, they begin. He begins to think that um, that maybe it's the gray ghost. Right. So he visits the actor. He sees that he's in trouble. Yeah. And all that shit. And um, so he started to think, OK, maybe it's this dude. Like maybe he's just so like he's just done, you know, that he's just causing all this shit. Come and find out it wasn't. It was somebody, no, it was the guy that was actually buying all the of memorabilia, the memorabilia. Yeah, yeah. It, they just <laughs> send you on a little fucking on the wild goose right. chase after that little loop. But that was little looper. That was Shout my favorite episode. Willis. I'm um, actually wearing a Batman shirt right now. Oh, okay. We got Batman and Robin on that shit. Yeah. Yep. I'm actually wearing Batman right now. I fucks with Batman tough. Okay. That's, that's like right. my shit. Yeah. All right. So let me, let me hear your top five again. Top five from the bottom to the top. King of the Hill. Beavis and Butthead at number four. At number three, we got The Simpsons. At number two, we got X-Men. And at number one, Batman, the yeah, animated poppin'. series. Popping. All right. At number five. Okay. Um, I got, I got a cartoon that's not necessarily about storytelling not necessarily about action so it's not the typical cartoon right but this cartoon was about teaching and as the viewer was about learning learning new things learning things that you wouldn't think of i know what this is this is fucking uh, magic school bus yes you're right yeah magic school bus you know why because they made a new one, I think. Did they? I mm. I want to say maybe like a few years ago, but it was a flop. Yeah, so ma- there's only like four or five episodes or some shit. Mm-hmm. And my son got a hold of it, maybe. 
But ever since he did, he got super attracted to like the original one. So he watches yeah, the original yeah, yeah. one all the time. It's dope. It's, it's, it's such on. A dope it's on one of those streaming services. Yeah. It's either on Hulu or Amazon I Prime. I think it's on. It might be on Prime. It might actually. be on both. It might actually. be on Prime. A lot of times, those kind of things are like on both because that was a public access show. I think. I yeah, think it was on yeah, PBS. Yeah. Right? yeah, it was on PBS. So. Something like that, the licensing will just go far and wide. No, that was a you cool. Get exclusive that's still a that. cool ass show, and he yeah. gets more excited because I tell him I used to watch it when right. I was a kid. And you're like, damn. So he's like, what? He's like, this is a fucking old ass cartoon. He, it, sometimes he ask me funny shit. Like, he's like, and it it has color. I'm like, damn, <laughs> man, I ain't that fucking old, man. <laughs> and he's like, oh, that shit had color. I'm like, come on, like, man. Cartoons always had color, yeah, man. Yeah, like, how you gonna play me out like that, dude? <laughs> I thought nah, we were but, homies. Um, yeah, so Magic School Bus for sure. Now Magic School is Bus five. is a good one. If I have a favorite episode of that one is when they go inside the fucking body. Yeah, when they always, shrink the that's fucking always, bus. That's yeah, everybody's that's favorite episode, I think. One. Hell yeah, yeah. Or when the bus driver goes over the cliff, at the save his ass. <laughs> yeah, that shit's crazy, and they have to go inside the car to fix the uh, bus driver's car or some shit, and they go in through the fucking. Um, they get fuel injected that into yeah, that bitch, that dude. It's that's fucking tight. sick. That's it's a good, that's a good ass episode. episode. And what had happened is he was just being this arrogant ass fucking bus driver and not listening to them. And he was mad that they were all happy, you know that kind of right. shit. And as he went to go fix the, his truck or the bus, as it got fucked up, like he falls over the side of the cliff, oh, legit, and he's just shit. hanging. The whole episode, he's just hanging on, and they had to figure out how to fix the fucking. I don't know. Hey, it's fucking crazy, dude. Damn. And then they just pull his ass up. Yo, at that the end, episode I'm like, was what the dope. Fuck? Like, dude, I mean, not episode. That show was dope. This like, motherfucker almost died, man. And you guys are over here doing science experiments and shit. That was that was pretty cool. I, I like it. I like that episode a lot. I I mean, not episode. That show. I keep saying episode, but. I learned a lot from that show too, man. Like as a, <laughs> as a kid, like because they were teaching you shit that you wouldn't necessarily learn in school, you know. That's like, like a, a show that's sort of like that is like Cat in the Hat, kind of too. And I don't know. I, don't know. I never watched Cat in the Hat when I was young, so I don't know. But my son started watching that one too, and he always, it it's more of like not super science, mm-hmm. but more morality type uh, shit. Like it gets them to do bad things right, or like right, stupid right. things, and then it just kind of explains like, yeah, uh, that was. We made some poor fucking choices, man. All right. At number four, I got the Spider-Man animated series Ooh, that was yeah. on Fox at the same time. No, I never got into X-Men that was one. Going. I've never been a Spider-Man fan, though, in my defense. Yeah, like, it, like, so it's not even really like I don't know if that show was actually shitty. I'm just not a Spider-Man. Guy. I think for me, like as a kid, I read more Spider-Man comics than I did anybody else. But it, it wasn't always my favorite superhero. It was yeah. just I always liked. I, th- I think maybe as a kid, I think I just liked the animation of the Spider-Man comics at the time. And I liked the storylines that it went through because it wasn't so like, it, you know, Batman stories get gritty at times and they get really real. And as a kid, it's They're not more complex. Yeah, it's sure. a lot more complex. So as a kid, it wasn't something that's initially attractive, like right off the bat. Yeah. It's something that you have to like, damn, like you have to really be into I didn't get into Batman until I was a little bit well, more older, the I, comics wise, because the writing was a lot more like I, in your head. It was I a lot more cerebral than it started telling Super, people about Spider Man. When I first started telling people about Batman, like nobody liked that shit. It was very rare. Like now you talk about Batman, of course everybody liked mm-hmm. that shit. But you know, all the movies that have happened. Mm-hmm. But when we were kids and maybe only that one movie had came out, the nineteen eighty nine original, mm-hmm. like that still didn't change the tide. Like, a lot of people think that's a super epic movie. Yeah, yeah, for sure it was. But it didn't make everybody overnight like a fucking Batman fan like they are now. Right. Like, you, like you're wearing a Batman t-shirt, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Which is very common nowadays, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? It's not uncommon. But back then, it would have been like, oh, look at this, you know, comic book nerd or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Because the problem that they had with it every time I'd try to figure out, like, man, I used to think Batman was cool as shit. And they'd be like, yeah, but everybody was into, like, because Batman was DC and mm-hmm. everything else was Marvel. Marvel was super like more fantasy based, mm-hmm. right? DC had Superman, which was like a superhuman superhero, but people hated that Batman was just a regular dude. They wanted him to have superpowers. Right, right, right. And I, I was like, what? I think it's more, to me, it was already more crazy that he was a regular dude. Right. He was just I rich. was like, fuck, he's just a yeah. regular dude that has a lot of money. So yeah. he, he could do a lot of cool shit. No. He's like a real vigilante, not. Oh shit! Some fucking not radiation man or whatever the fuck. <laughs> right. No, yeah. Batman is legit. 
But I'm just saying, in, in when I was a kid, in terms of the comic books, Spider-Man just felt more appealing visually yeah. at that time. Right? As a kid, you want something bright, happy, and like, you know what I mean? You don't I was want... into X-Men and Spawn. I like See, Spawn. you're already into some dark, crazy <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I used to draw a lot of fucking crazy shit when I was young, though. But, um... So, yeah, the, the Spider-Man show was actually really, really dope. And if you ever go back and watch it now, it's actually really dope. Uh, the storyline. Where, where can I access that, son of a bitch? Because I, I don't want to pay for Spider-Man. Um, that li- shit might be on Hulu. Yeah, I don't even like half the movies that are Spider-Man. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about any Spider-Man movies. No, no, no I know. I'm I just don't... saying. It's, it's, it is... The only Spider-Man movie I, I really thought stretch. was all right was... Um, the reboot the newest reboot the spider-man character that i did used to like that i always liked and i guess it's relatable to the other like you said darker shit but was carnage Mm. like i would buy the specific spider-man comics that had carnage in them for sure i had a lot of those i even had like a little carnage action figure that it was cool because he he had like these little clip-ons that would clip onto Mm -hmm. his arms that would be like the scythe or the swords or some shit he always had some crazy extra shit and what was i think what what uh, I liked about Carnage, too, was that, you know, in all this world, it was always like some crazy dude that had been done bad by mm-hmm. the world, but he was a scientist, so he became Doc Ock, you know right, what I mean? Or right, Green right. Goblin. Or this dude was just a psychopath. This guy was a serial killer. Yeah. No, he was a legit, he yeah, was in was jail for fucking murdering people right. and just murdering people for pleasure. He was a straight up psychopath mm-hmm. that just got that fucking symbiote. That's that why Venom I uh, got. And so I was like, what the. F- how did a real serial killer get introduced to Spider-Man? Because even Venom wasn't nothing crazy. He was no. just a reporter. Yeah. He was just Eddie Brock. Right. The, he was just jealous. The reporter of that worked with Peter Parker. Peter. Yeah. yeah, that's it. He was just jealous of Peter, and it just took it's another. Just a hater. That's a yeah. modern day hater. He's yeah. a fucking Straight troll. Up. Straight yeah, up. I mean, troll ass Venom. Straight up. God damn it. But uh, yeah, so Spider-Man is definitely. Make it along and shit. It w- it was definitely something that was a little bit more attractive at the time in terms of storytelling and. And how things played out. So that's why I really liked the show. Um, I also, what I also liked about the show was the animation. I liked how they mixed. Uh, they were one of the first kind of like American cartoons to really mix 3D renderings with 2D animation. Oh, I kind of remember that. You like know, when he's going swinging through, through the, the suede. Yeah, so, yeah, like it would be like some 3D generated shit. Like it would look like the Matrix. Like you'd see the grid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it was like kind of crazy, but like <laughs> I always thought that was cool. Like from the get go, you know. Like yeah. I always thought that was like back then. I thought I was like, man, this is like a dope, different way of animating it. Instead of it all being in this three D bullshit. Year, what year was that? Because got to be ninety five ish. Because they're so. That's another thing about Spider Man is it's been rebooted so many oh, times. Oh yeah, even it's as gotta a cartoon. Be, mid nineties. I want to say ninety eight. It was probably the first. Nah, nah, never mind. I was gonna say it was probably the first color superhero cartoon, but no, nah, Spider Man. Nah, man, Spider Man came after X Men. Spider. No, no, no. Sp- I'm talking oh, about like the general? original oh. one. Yeah, the the original cartoon came out in like the '60s. Yeah, Spider Man, Spider Man. When they had like a oh. corny little like band like that playing. Yeah, I don't, I don't really remember. I mean, obviously, I wasn't alive, so I don't, I don't really look back yeah. that far, but. I don't know what would be the first. But anyway, moving on. Um, so number three on my list is at the same time, on the same channel, just before Spider-Man, was an even better cartoon. <laughs> and that's the X-Men animated series. Yeah, X-Men is... Um, I mean... Like, I mean, you kind of touched on it, too. It's just how they how they match. They they pretty much match the storylines from, from the comics. And they didn't really deviate too much. Obviously, they had a little bit more freedom on that. They kind of, you know, changed a couple things, but nothing too serious. But um, yeah, it was just the absolute. It was amazing. Great. It was amazing to see a comic you liked animated back yeah. then. Yeah. Like now, you wouldn't even trip out if something like that happened. Right. You'd, you'd you'd ask the first question you'd ask is, "Is it good?" Or how does it look? Who made mm-hmm. it? And I mean, you wouldn't be interested in it, right? Right. Like if I told you, "Hey, they're coming out with a new animated Hulk series." Would you give two fucks? No. No, exactly. No. But you might have back back then. You what? There's gonna be a Hulk cartoon. Even you go then, to school and tell no. everybody. Even then, no. No, you would have told everybody. You'd been like, oh, that Hulk cartoon comes out, whatever. And then you watch the first episode and it sucks. It sucks. Mm-mm. You just I don't watch care, it because I never cared for Hulk. 
I always thought it was like, man, that's like in. That's to me, it was like a lazy. That was lazy. Like that was a lazy character creation in my mind. And I always felt like that. I still feel like that. It's just a lazy character. It's, oh, he he took, you know, he's a scientist that made it's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That's all it is. Yeah. It's lazy. It's lazy as fuck, in my opinion. But it is what it is. There are Hulk fans, so I'll let them be. Dumb yeah, I don't really care for Hulk either. It's just it's the best just, I It's lazy <laughs> to me, and I don't know. It, it's I, I like it in the live action in the movies. I like I that Hulk. I don't even like that shit. I like that honest. Hulk because it's, it's Except funny Except for the see. last Hulk movie that came out. That was pretty. That was no, nice. I'm not talking about the movies. I just mean more in the Avengers oh, shit. Oh, okay. Nah. Like, I like when he takes Loki and he just fucking slams him back and forth like a rag doll. That's like Looney Tunes type shit. Yeah, but yeah. it was funny because he's like, I'm a god. And he just scoops him up and just slam, 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 slam. Just fucking him up. And then yeah. he's like, you puny god. And he walks <laughs> away. Like, that shit was funny. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, mixing it. <coughs> but Hulk, they in the movies, they haven't made Hulk dope. It's like, hard to. How are you going to do that? Because he has to have two personalities. How do you make a bipolar person dope? <laughs> no, but I'm talking about Hulk. I'm not talking about Bruce Banner. Yeah, but Hulk. he has to be Bruce Banner at some point. You that's know fine. He has to be. That's fine, but that's a different character. Right. So it takes away from the di- uh, it takes no, away no, no, from no, that no, character. No. You're, really not, you're not getting what I'm saying. Fully developing. You're not getting what I'm saying. I'm not talking. You can't develop. You can't character develop the Hulk. I want to see the fucking Hulk smash. I haven't seen the Hulk smash. They haven't mm. shown the Hulk smash since the very first Avengers movie when he kind of goes nutty against the the aliens and shit. And he wasn't even really, it wasn't even really that nutty. It was dope, but it really wasn't that nutty. Then they show him in Civil War fighting against Tony in the Hulkbuster armor. And that shit wasn't even really that dope because he just got beat up by Tony. He shouldn't have ever even lost that shit. First of all, he should have just ripped that Hulkbuster shit to shreds. Yeah, but that's, you know, that's... And then he's in Thor Ragnarok and he's a fucking whiny little bitch. And yeah. now, in the new Avengers Infinity War, he don't even want to come out because he got punched by fucking, um, by, uh, uh fucking, what's his Thanos. name? Thanos. Thanos, yeah. yeah. He got punched by that fucker. Now he don't even want to come out. Man, they made the Hulk look like a bitch. This whole, the whole, this whole, since the Avengers till now, Hulk has been a super bitch. And it's not Bruce Banner being a bitch because Bruce Banner is supposed to be a bitch. He's just a scientist dude. He's not a fucking. Yeah, but you know what? Like. Maybe they did their market research and they realized don't nobody give a fuck about the Hulk either. So who cares? Exactly. So make him a fucking super badass destructive fucking force, which he's supposed to be. Yeah. Unless I'm not understanding who the Hulk is supposed to be and I'm wrong, which is possible. I don't know because I never I never really got into Hulk comics either or gave a fuck. Fuck the Hulk. So, um, yeah, so I really wouldn't give a fuck about a, a, a Hulk cartoon. Um, but going back to my, what I was talking about in the X-Men, uh, it, what I really like about what the X-Men, what number is X-Men on your Number three. Okay. What I really like about the X-Men is, is they told real human stories, but in the guise of, you know, a fucking superhero action show. But they really told stories about diversity. They told stories about um, essentially racism. You know, they. Well, that's kind of what the show was about is right. kind of just like oppression. You know right. I mean? They, they, they touched on all these things. And a lot of these things are they they matter to in real life. These things matter. These. And uh, for me, I always felt like it was the best show in terms of relating with real life it had a sense of humanity and and some doses of morality mixed in for sure there was a lot of lessons to be learned within the x-men show no no you learned a lot you learned a lot about uh just uh people people yeah and how you should treat Mm -hmm. each other right and what really matters and what doesn't so all right so that was my number three number two uh is actually your number one and that's Batman oh, animated series. What number two? Number two. Oh shit! I'm really <laughs> number I'm really two. Interested to hear number um, one now. Okay. I mean, we kind of really touched on Batman, so I don't really need to go into that. It's number two for me, um, simply because it was short. Okay. It was it was realistically three seasons. 
the fourth season was like Batman and Robin, and then it was like kind of weird. The storytelling started to change, the animation changed, and everything got all fucked up in the fourth season. Mm. So it was realistically only three strong seasons. Like I said, I don't it. remember it in too much detail it in any kind of chronological order because that one also hit syndication for a lot of years. Right. So they sh- oh, yeah. they stretched those three no, seasons yeah. into like well, 20 because fucking years. <laughs> each season has, I want to say, 30 episodes. And so it, if you're looking at three seasons, that's already 90 episodes. That's a lot of stretch. You could stretch that for a long yeah. time. Well, they did the right? same because, thing with X-Men too, I guess. Yeah. X-Men had a lot of episodes. X-Men, but X-Men was also in the same. I think they only had four seasons or five, maybe four Oh, yeah, seasons. probably. They were short too. Spider-Man the same. They were all short, but they, like you said, they just, they just, just they just used the fuck out of them, man. They stretched them bitches out. I'll tell you but uh, yeah, so that's the only reason why it goes at number two. I mean, obviously, I really love Batman. I love all the, I love a lot of the episodes. I like the storytelling. Um, the animation was dope. The film noir aspect of it is always awesome. Yeah. Um, that you know those things are great. But my number one cartoon of oh, all time shit. <laughs> also happens to be the longest running cartoon of all time. Oh shit. And that's The Simpsons. Yeah, that's on my list. Yeah. Um, There is not one... Bro, there is not one show in the world that I've seen more than The Simpsons. Mm -hmm. The Simpsons is my personal most watched anything. Of all time. Of all time. I've seen The Simpsons more times. Any episode, you know, episodes of The Simpsons, just period. Just watching The Simpsons more times than anything else I've ever watched. And that's that's easy. That's that's an easy accomplishment, a lot, if it's not a, even though it's not an accomplishment. I think, but, but I think that's something that holds true with a lot of people our age, to be honest. I think a lot of... Because I can talk to my sisters about Simpsons yeah. episodes and they'll remember that shit. Simpsons had like... 9, 10, 12 strong fucking years straight. I sometimes really enjoy watching the really old ones because yeah. they look really fucked up, the animation. Well, I mean, I only watch, uh, nowadays, I only watch mm, seasons one through six, one through seven. Mm-hmm. That's about as far as I really go nowadays. And if I'm going into the other seasons, I'm just going for specific episodes at that point. I'm not going for, like, anywhere between one and six mm-hmm. seasons, I could just put on episode one and just let it play all the way through. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Through the whole season, not skip an episode. Right. But after that, when you start getting into the teens, the tens, the teens, the, the dubs, that's when it's like, uh, I'm just really nitpicking on the episodes. And then after about, I would say, season 13, I don't even think I've seen episodes past that point. Like when they gave the rights to not the rights because FX is still Fox, right? right? But when it but, when it swapped but over, when it swapped over, mm-hmm. like they would, that's what they would do. Like they would just run marathons on the yeah. weekends. Well, on yeah. FX, FXX, they yeah, I don't they know how many FX fucking channels there's, they do yeah. that now. Like they'll they'll do it's just Simpsons all day. Yeah, and then if you have the FXX app, oh damn! I thought you were gonna add another fucking X, triple like X, fucking camos damn. and shit. No, freaking uh, quadruple, <laughs> <laughs> quadruple X. <laughs> okay. uh, if you have the FX app, Woo, high gravity. <laughs> um, you can watch. There's a tab on there. As long as you're signed in with your um, cable provider, there's a tab on there called Simpsons World, and you go to that, and it's yeah, every single episode. Because my of son, ever my son's been getting into Simpsons lately, and I'm you know I'm monitoring it. Cause you know it was banned for me, right? But I don't. I honestly like I watch most of them, and I'm like, oh no, nah. he's watched. He's watched but way was, worse shit. The thing is, today you, you just expl- today he watched. But the thing way is, you've shit. explained it that um, it was banned for you and your family specifically yeah. because of the possible certain implications right, that right, it was right. making that were very similar to some exactly. a structure that was already n- n- not promoted. Right, right. You know? So so it I, didn't fall into... That situation is different than this one. Yeah, it didn't fall into our more, home standard. Right, yeah. Right, supposedly. Right. right. Well, I'm saying now it's more of I'm just going to watch it because I wasn't sure. Yeah. Right? You just want to make sure that everything was all good and it wasn't just that. 
right? Yeah. Because it could be more because it is cartoons. No, yeah. I just want to see to make sure, like, I'm not even watching, like, the shit that's coming. I know mm-hmm. The Simpsons. I've yeah, watched yeah. them. I'm not even talking about the content. Like, right. I know that the content is okay compared to fucking shit that he watches. Not, like, like shows that come out on even, like, cartoon, like, mm-hmm. Adventure Time, yeah. fucking Secret World of Gumball. It's crazy. Those fucking shows. Sometimes it gets a little fucking, it goes a little off the rails where you're like, whoa. Low key, this is why there's still a lot of adults that watch these motherfuckers mm-hmm. too. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. Super For fucking sure. risque. But it's mostly I'm when I'm watching him watch something like that that I'm allowing. Mm-hmm. It's like how I said earlier with the it thing. I'm more monitoring his reaction to it. Uh, you know what I mean? yeah, his immediate yeah. reaction. Mm-hmm. Like even when you laugh, if you just laugh at something that's just straight up funny, it's a different laugh than more of like a sinister laugh. Like, oh, I like that. You know what I mean? Because no, that inflicted pain or that that's was true. just, you're like, <laughs> like fucking, to, yeah. to put it, to put it, to There's relate it. levels to, of comedy. To relate sure. it to the show, it's like how Nelson, when he goes, ha, ha, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. It's There's the same different. shit. It's like, There's oh, that was levels, a, little, yeah. a little bit of malice with that <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? You're trying to hurt someone. That's a <laughs> dagger. That's not just a regular laugh. Like, oh. Oh, shit. So yeah, uh, for yeah. me, Simpsons holds the top. No, spot. Simpsons makes sense. I was gonna be like, you're fucking crazy that not picking Batman, but mm-hmm. once you said Simpsons, I mean, and I mean, was- my one and twos, I feel like are always interchangeable though. I think because they're that close that I can't really. Put I think one a lot of times, I think a lot of times, my one and twos usually are pretty interchangeable, but in this instant, it's it's not close. Well, Simpsons me, was just cool. a heavy dose of culture. Simpsons mm-hmm. was also pre-internet, you know? Like, bro, like, I'll be watching... Like, pre-internet internet is what I mean. Because, obviously, all the shows we talk about were pre-internet. But this was, like, a pre-internet version of the internet. Like, Dude, memes. I'm telling you, it was, look, like, a show I'm, of memes, almost. I'm, I'm 31 <laughs> years old, right? Uh, meme I'll show sit and here shit. and watch The Simpsons, right? And sometimes, like, my mom will come by to visit or whatever. And she'll walk in, and she's like, are you seriously still watching The Simpsons? <laughs> like every fucking time. Like that's funny, and it's crazy because like, ever since I was a little kid, like that was one of the first real cartoons that I really been stuck with, and ever since then, I've always, always, always been in The Simpsons. <laughs> like I mean, I've got like different books from The Simpsons. I've had soundtracks from The Simpsons. Man. I've got, I've, I've what? back in the back in the <laughs> early '90s when The Simpsons craze did actually hit the United States or just around the world in general when all the memorabilia really started coming out. Like, like I had the Bart Simpson fucking like dolls. I had the fucking clothes, like all kinds of shit. See, like, but that's, what's the uh, crazy about the difference is that since our shit was banned, hell, of course we weren't going to get none of the America. Right. So I never saw that side of it. Yeah. It was just, to us, it was just the like, excitement of watching the show. I always saw that. In general. Like, in fact, like, man, like I remember all that shit, but dude. I did. Like, used to have like Bart action figures. I used shit. to have a My shirt. My mom would let me buy action figures of them. I, I had to, a Bart and a Homer one. I used to have a shirt that was Bart dressed as Bart man. Yeah, I also had a Bartman action figure yeah. too. Yeah, so but like, but I had that but they were those action figures, you know, like where they just fucking put like no, a wire yeah, on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just yeah. like curve them, They're and then after curved. a while, it's like chipping yeah, off already because yeah. you bent it too many times. No, I know yeah, that was some, those old school like cheapy toys. Yeah, but some they were, fucking but it was super more so because they weren't actual toys meant to be played with. Yeah, they were actually display type of toys My more than anything. Oh no, yeah, they but were like Happy were, Meal toys, pretty right. much. But as kids, we just they're toys. We're playing. Oh with no, them. I'm, I'm all my action figures. All my action figures <laughs> played with each other. Yeah, this yeah. shit was like Toy Story, yeah. man. That's why Toy. <laughs> that's why Toy Story hit me right yeah. in the heart when I saw that shit. I was like, that's how I used to play with my toys. Yeah, my son won't do that. Well, kind of, but, but um, it's a different thing. Yeah, it's just different. No, but uh, fuck, I wanted to. T- <laughs> so that's my top five. I had okay. at five I got the Magic School Bus. At four I got Spider Man animated series. At number three I got X Men animated series. Both of those from the nineties. <laughs> I have um, the Batman animated series at number two, and then my top number one cartoon of all time is The Simpsons. Okay, so uh, let me read hash my top five. Yeah, it's been a minute. Uh, at number five I have King of the Hill. Number four Beavis and Butthead. Number three Simpsons. Number two, X Men, and number one was Batman the Animated Series. And let's give a couple shout outs to Futurama, to Futurama, yeah, that's um, a good one. Um, what else is out there? I Family mean, Guy. Family Guy, Family of course. Guy, Family Guy, of course. Um, shit, I like the Cleveland show too. That shit was funny. I, really I know a lot of people didn't. I know a lot of people don't. I know a lot of people don't. But there was I was also liked it. American Dad, no, which no, was. No, 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 no. Amer- American Dad was like hit and miss <laughs> with the fucking episodes. Though. See, like, it and then I didn't like American Dad, so I feel you. It's always hit or miss. 
Um, it's it wasn't that great. Yeah. yeah so definitely shout out to a couple yeah, of those cartoons. Trauma, though, shout out to epic, Doug. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Hey Arnold. Shout yeah. out to Rugrats. Shout out to man Ninja Turtles. They had some the original Ninja Turtles from the early nineties. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the yeah, original Ninja that Turtles. Was cool. Shout out to man. I know I'm missing a grip right now because I didn't write none of no, these down yeah. when I looked up. I should have Transformers. Yeah. I should have. I should wrote them down. But yeah, you know they had Fantastic Four back then too. Yeah, but that's you know. No, yeah, they did have a lot of shit. One one episode that, of The Simpsons that my son is stuck on and has just kind of been laughing is when they get that fucking pool in the backyard. Oh that yeah. Pool. And it makes him laugh the fucking part where uh, Ralph is in the fucking thing naked and the fu- and the pool breaks and <laughs> and he has like only a little thing covering him and, he, and then he goes and the autumn wind came blowing in <laughs> and it just poof. <laughs> oh man, my son thinks that part is so fucking hilarious. That is funny. Uh, but that wasn't Ralph though. Who was it? It was. It was the little smart fat boy. What's his name? Oh my god. <sighs> You're right though, it wasn't Ralph. Ralph was the fucking <laughs> like lost yeah. in space. I bet my Wookiee. Yeah, yeah. That's Ralph. Like, I like lamp type shit. <laughs> I like <laughs> <lamp>. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh man, what was that fucking kid's name? It's on the tip of my tongue right now. Uh, no. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Bunch of just blankness. Mm. We tried though. We tried. Inspector Gadget, shout out to that too. Oh, Inspector Gadget was dope. Yeah. Oh, do you remember the critic? Oh yeah, yeah. The critic, the critic with John Lovett. Yeah, it just spun off of the Simpsons. Yeah, the critic was good. The critic was the critic popping. Was good. Okay. I used they had, to they like had a, that they shit. had a couple crazy ass cartoons on fucking MTV too. You remember that? It was called MTV Oddities. Mm, and they would play it at really night. One was called The Max. Mm. And he was like this superhero that lived in this fucking stripper's dreams. Oh, it was crazy, <laughs> dude. <laughs> it was crazy, but that's when the black box had already arrived, dude. I was watching. So I was watching that shit and black box porn, dude. Spice uh. Channel. Yeah. <laughs> The only problem is the black box didn't always get the clearest reception. So you're trying to fucking figure shit out through like the fuzziness of the TV. People don't know about fuzzy TVs like that, though, because we got <laughs> these flat screens now. But back then, if your TV wasn't getting reception, it looked like Man. it looked like a fucked up DVD. You know, like when you scratch your DVD. It was terrible. Those days were. It was terrible, dude. Yeah. So I was just trying to see like a fucking leg in there or something. You know what I mean? Right. Nah. But you got the sounds, though. All the moaning and all that fun shit. Yeah, black box. Some of you will never know. God damn it. Man, that shit really... I'm still sitting here trying to think about what the fuck his name is. Uh, That shit uh, really uh, is... Yeah, because I just keep thinking of Ralphie and Nelson. That's the exact same shit. But I know it. Fuck, dude. Ralphie, Nelson. Oh my God, what the fuck? Was he... Oh, did we shout out South Park? We shout out South Park, right? You did, I think. Yeah, I don't really I, care for I, South Park. I anyway. just threw it out there, but I I didn't get into South Park. Not like that. Yeah. Not like that at all. Yeah, I never really cared. I I like what they did in terms of. Um, pioneering something. Yeah. I I like. There's. I don't. I wasn't necessarily a South Park fan, but I like a lot of South Park shit though. Yeah, there's like a lot of jokes pulled from there that I can just right. access, or like I seen a YouTube video or something, and it's hilarious. I mean, like, I just yeah. like how they were. South just Park kinda, movie was was good too. It was funny. I just like how they were just like, look, dude, we're just gonna practice our freedom of speech, and we don't give a fuck about what any of you guys. Well, say. they got kind of lucky that Cartoon Network bought into it. Yes, and they were just like, you know what, fuck that. Like yeah. they probably sold it. I don't know what the story is behind it, but that'd be a good, interesting thing to look into. But I imagine they just went in there and were like, dude, Beavis and Butthead have fucking done this shit. Like, right. come on. Like, let's take it to the next level now. Mm-hmm. Let's Howard Stern this motherfucker. Yeah, that's essentially you know like I mean? how it is. And they, they did. Well, because that. that extent, you know? Oh, fuck. I was about to say be, that's the way it worked back then. But I'm like, no, that's the way it works now. Shock mm-hmm. value still exists. Yeah, it's just Instagram, mm-hmm. Twitter. It's trying to fucking. Yeah, totally work. Anyway, the character that we were talking about from The Simpsons is Martin Prince. Ah, Martin. (laughs) Martin. Martin. Oh, man. All right, man. That wraps up 
episode uh, eight of the yeah. We Don't Know Stuff podcast. Yeah, I gotta take a piss. We ran <laughs> long, 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 long today. So um, make sure you're following the us on edition. Twitter, like our Facebook page, uh, give us a shout out, subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. Watch some make, fucking cartoons. Too, yeah, watch while some you're cartoons. at it, and let make, us know what you guys think. Make Shoot sure you subscribe. Us your top five. Uh, to our YouTube page and we'll see you guys next episode in the future <gasps> dun 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 ah. that was Damn. like an old yeah Saturday night horror <laughs> special <laughs> alright y'all we're out peace, peace.